one of the winningest poker players of all time. He has conquered the Poker Go Cup. He is the reigning Super High Roller Bowl champion. Can he win his first U.S. Poker Open event in the great game of Potlum at Omaha? Daniel Negreanu is here, and you'd better watch out. Welcome back to Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a special one today coming at you from the Poker Go studio, just a short walk away from the Aria Resort and Casino Poker Room for event number four of the 2023 U.S. Poker Open. The name of the game is Pot Limit Omaha. The buy-in is $10,000, and the headliner is none other than Mr. Daniel Negreanu. We got Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks on the call on PokerGo.com. But my name is Rem Karinkama. Donnie Peters alongside me for some shenanigans, some excitement. We're going to engage with you guys in the chat. Send us your questions, requests, whatever is on your mind. Let us know right now as we will try to find out if Negreanu can close one out here in 2023. Ronald Kaiser from the Netherlands is our chip leader. Alan Lee is in the mix. Dylan Wiseman, the PLO wizard in fourth place. And Damian Radonov is our current short stack. We had 77 entries, 11 players cashed. Let's get those cards in the air. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for some Pot Limit Omaha tournament action. It should be a good one. And this gentleman comes from right down the street from where I grew up. So maybe a little bit of special rooting interest here as we are far away from home. Here's a look at the final table payouts. 200K up top, not too shabby for a PLO event. 61K guaranteed for the remaining five players. And of course, lots of points up for grabs as well. Donnie Peters will get you an update on the PGT standings as well as the implications of this event in the US Poker Open standing, standings as Negreanu already has two caches coming into this event. This is his third, and let's see if he can jump up the standings with a good result today. Let's start off with some excitement in the chat. Let us know who you're rooting for. I'm gonna assume it is 90% Negreanu, but I just wanna make sure. Everyone, please spam in the chat. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is going to be a really, really fun final table. It's not even worth it. Four cards for each player. So many possibilities, so many options. Donnie, what's this, up? This game is very different from what we've watched over the last few days. Extremely different. Um, you know, you think it might be just hold them times two. That, that's <laughs> not the case. Hold them times six, <laughs> maybe? It, it, yeah, I mean, it might be hold them times 16. But these are some of the best PLO players in the world. So watching what they do, if you're looking to get into a new game, maybe you've had some sort of fascination from the sidelines about PLO, these are the guys to watch. I mean, this is also a learning experience for you and I. Of course, we are well-versed in all the games. Donnie and I like to play mixed games. But I will, I will say with confidence that PLO is one of my weaker games. So if you guys are in the chat, you know, please help us out. Give us, some, give us some tips if you are a PLO specialist. Uh, and of course, we're all looking for those draws. We're looking for those wraps. We're looking for those top sets. This game is not a game where you want to get it in light because the possibilities are endless. Here's a look at Lee just basically flopping the whole board. Rod enough, still with plenty of outs with the flush draw. Equity is running very close in this game at all times. Straight already for Lee, but still up against the flush draw. Nine doesn't really help Rod enough too much. He probably knows that he is looking for a diamond to feel a lot more secure. A lot of big pairs possible. A lot of Dutch people in the chat. Love to see it. As always, let us know where you're watching from. What's the weather like? Hope, hope it's improving. It's definitely getting better in Las Vegas. And uh, what, are you, what are you sipping on? Is it time for tea? Is it time for coffee, maybe? In your, in your, <laughs> in your place in the world, it is already time for maybe uh, a different kind of beverage. I know from talking to my dad that the weather in the Netherlands has been awful. Lee here with a pot-sized check raise on the turn and rod enough quick to let this one go Anyone donnie the stacks are deep dealer? this is plo there's no antis rod enough is the short stack well, there now is an no, you big are. Blind sorry there is an anti but the, the big blind <laughs> anti yeah, doesn't you're a good count dealer. you do good I agree. exactly for the right. pot yeah. pre-flop and then it counts post-flop here's a look at the 2023 uspo standings I see on my twitter all the time the guy nacho barbero his wife was like honey has anyone ever told you look has anyone told you look beautiful yet today she's like no maybe tomorrow 
<laughs> Maybe it'll happen tomorrow. Oh, Speaking of those standings, I think Negrano can jump up to fifth player? place with that a win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe someday. Yeah, Daniel, I need to never say you're great at PLO tournaments. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, well, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, oh, maybe, wow. Maybe tomorrow. Dylan Wiseman pulling out the class, wearing a matching pair of shades with the sweater. Sweater That is Don't next level. It was a joke. <laughs> no, I'm very Tricky yeah, hand here for Daniel. Three aces. Too extra angry. <laughs> for those who have never played this game before, you can only use two, and you have to use two cards from your hand. So it does help that he's got one suit to those aces. Aces, of course. A good hand pre-flop, but can get you into a lot of trouble in this game in particular. Can't do this one. All right, pick any two. Any two, and I bet they're aces. Not that one. Oh, <laughs> they're all aces. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds, right? A lot of aces. We owe you a prop. But yeah. A lot of aces. You had diamonds too, right? I had diamonds, yeah. yeah. And I, was, I had, yeah. I was fucked. You had diamonds, not, yeah, diamonds was your. I, I, was, I was not in good shape. I didn't want you to call, honestly. <laughs> My <laughs> little tweet there on the big screen. Negron did call his shot I in the 10K big, PLO prior to the event flop. starting. Yeah, same. Was, and here he is, what was there. making it work. For those stuff. at home, you can only use two of the aces after the flop. <laughs> <laughs> but he'll, pull up, he'll probably play the seven, though. What's that? He'll, he'll probably play the seven. Yeah. George in the house from Switzerland having a bedtime Coke. Pre please brush your teeth after going, after drinking that Coke. Stay safe out there. We got France, we got Quebec City in the house. Of course, Texas is always here. Jimmy Bluffett in the mix. Appreciate you as always. The Netherlands well represented. What on you, Bovin? Delay on the stream for those wondering is one hour. Wiseman limping from the small line with the ace jack 8 4. Crappy hand. Want to see a flop? Let's see if you can connect with those with those suited Broadway cards. Kaiser up in the ante, raising from the big blind in position. Backdoor draws come in to play a lot more in this game, Donnie? Oh, yes. If you're the type of person that is into giveaways, we're going to do plenty here on the stream today. First one for an annual subscription to Poker Go when we hit 500 likes on the video. So let's get those likes going on the channel. Everyone who is in the chat, who is subscribed to our YouTube channel, is eligible for the giveaway. And we'll do some more later in the day. As Kaiser continues here for 85k, picks up the pot and extends his chip lead. Those are good cards. PLO specialist, Donnie. This guy has been, this guy's been raking him in. Yeah, Kaiser won a Poker Masters PLO event last year. Then he won yeah, a Bellagio High Roller PLO event, both of those four, part of the PGT. Ones, what the odds that both be aces? I don't want to do the math. <laughs> then he closed <laughs> out the PGT <laughs> PLO out, series yeah. by winning the $2,200 <laughs> five-card PLO. Energy. Yeah, no I got problem. Which he said, you know, five-card PLO is his yeah, favorite yeah. game. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's awesome. Be, uh, Ronald's got, Ronald's he also has a bracelet time. event. Guess what? PLO. <laughs> Six-handed PLO back in 2018. Won four hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Jeez. God, who wants to do that now? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Should be fifty. I mean, all all of these guys are absolute PLO crushers. They were all out playing the PGT PLO series. Some of these guys even dabbled in some of the PGT mix games events that we had earlier. Wiseman limping on the button Already with Queens. In, so stay in. Badoogie Queens. You'll see lots of people trying to see a flop. Of course, this, this game, in a way, starts on the flop. You don't see a lot of three and four betting, especially in a tournament format. Stacks are much deeper. The game plays much more post-flop. 
Negrana here with the open ended straight draw and top pair. Excuse me. Two pair for Negrana. The three, of course, also paired. Wiseman with the over pair. <laughs> Leandro is asking, where's Nacho? Yeah, there must have, something must have gone <laughs> wrong last night. Nacho Barbero from Argentina made three straight final tables. The streak ended last night. But he's going to get a new chance today again as the U.S. Poker Open continues with event number five. Please keep in mind that we have live reporting of all our events on pgt.com. Event number five is now underway. It's a 10K no limit hold'em. Eric Sadell, Dan Smith, Kristen Foxen already in the mix. For those keeping track of the series, we're going to keep increasing the buy-ins starting tomorrow with a 15K PLO, then a 15K no limit, then two 25K no limits, closing it out on April 3rd with a 50K no limit hold'em. Live streaming every final I'm table. I'm going to fold. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Fold. Negrano lays it down. Two pair and a straight draw. Kaiser just, you know, picking up on it. Impressive stuff from him if he gets this through. Definitely has the worst of, worst of it here. It's a funky game, Donnie. It it's a very funky actually game. Actually, 100% we get it in if you look. Uh, yeah, I would just check fault against you. Huh? Oh, <laughs> I would check fault against you. Oh, damn. He made it appealing. I had such a monster. <laughs> I did. I think I had, the best, I think I had a better hand than Ronald you. Kaiser just oh, no, didn't. making the magic three. happen. Yep. And a straight draw. I didn't have a better hand than you. I lied. <laughs> I had a good hand. Yeah. Check next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I thought you sus subscribed to the ICM. That yeah, wasn't about four, ICM. Uh, that was me thinking, what does this guy have? What do you have? 10 8 or some mm -hmm. shit? Or a set of 8s? I don't know. I did have an 8. A 8. Uh oh. A 8. Yeah. And a straight draw. No. Nothing. Just an 8. Just yeah. need to wake up a little bit. 8 uh, and over cards. Oh my god. Ronald just robbed us. <laughs> I had an over card. What's new? Yeah, Ronald just robbed huh? us. That's his middle name. <laughs> Donnie, for those unfamiliar with Paul Limit Omaha, what just happened there? And, and, and Rob you know, and Ronnie. Why did Negrano fold two pair? I mean, he probably didn't think that his backdoor flush draw was likely going to be good. I mean, because it was on the lower side. Yeah, he's got Robin two pair, but top and bottom pair yeah. in PLO, not the best of it. Your opponent can obviously have sets, better two pair. You know, a lot of turn cards that can give you trouble. Yeah, he has the straight jaw, but do you really just want to go with like just kind of a straight jaw? Oh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> I think Negrani is also one of those players that thinks ahead, certainly understands all of his opponents. I think he views probably views these guys, if you were to ask him, that all these guys are very good PLO players. So future streets, probably not going to be the easiest to play against Kaiser there. Kaiser certainly knows what he's doing, can put a lot of pressure on Negrani, put him in some tricky spots. So oftentimes just save some chips, go to battle later. I guess that is what separates the good from the great in this game, being able to pick up on little things, use small advantages. Kaiser, of course, had some cards connecting, potentially on later streets, or at least blocking cards that his yep. opponent couldn't have. The jack might, might seem insignificant, but it's part of a lot of draws for his opponents that they could have. to see a turn card here. It's a nice one for Lee. Seven always comes. Lee, Lee knew that, of course. Lee flopping a flush draw, now turns a set. Important observation by Leslie in the chat. Says, ICM is for poor people and Agranu is not poor. So taking that into account, very bad fold. Yeah, but Negrani is all about the defense. <laughs> he watched his super high roller bowl victory last year. I mean, it was all about defense. <coughs> yeah, that's right. Should I clap? <laughs> <laughs> Full house here for Lee. Ten 
nothing in it for Kaiser. And as you can see on the table, we even changed the felt. That's There's right. Four RFID readers on this table underneath the felt. <coughs> Lee with a nice little bet there with his full house. Did not get paid off, but raked into the chips. He's second in chips with 114 big blinds. Kaiser with 131 big blinds. Nagrano in third with 60. Then Wiseman with 45 and Radunov with 33. We, we can't understate, Donnie, how deep these guys still are and um, what that could mean for the duration of this final table. There's n just not a lot of pressure to play big pots. Yeah, I mean, PLO, I think, has the characteristics, or at least people view it as a game that brings chaos. In the tournament setting, it plays pretty close to the vest most times. You'll see a lot of, you know, limping more so in, than in No Limit Hold'em. So I'm just calling. People won't get too crazy. <coughs> As you said earlier, kind of right off the top, you know, equities always want run really close in this game. And when that happens, I mean, <sighs> you just constantly want to be flipping at all times. Let us know in the chat. Are you a PLO specialist? Are you well versed in the game? Is this the game you play, or are you just watching to see if Negreanu is gonna, you know, perhaps blow up? We've seen Negreanu. <laughs> we've we've seen him act out more in recent times. Oh hard, yeah. hard on his sleeve, really wants it. At the same time, still chatty, joking around with his opponents. And I do love how outspoken he is and how creative he gets. I believe it's his 12th cash on the PGT this That's year. A strong start. No wins yet, but racking up those points, trying to climb up that leaderboard. Nice hand here for Lee. Aces and fives. Kaiser with the double suited. Ace, queen, 10, three. Of course, the ace, queen, 10 play well together. The uh, heart flush draw. Almost feels like a bit of a backup, but it could get him into trouble here versus the ace-high hearts that Lee has. The flop keeps the aces in the lead. Nothing really there for Kaiser. Four of hearts on the turn gives both players a hard flush draw. It also almost gives Lee a lock on this hand. Five on the river gives Lee a set of fives and the win. <coughs> it's funny how PLO, it's on the surface, is such a volatile game. But then when you bring it to a tournament format, it becomes very calculated and it plays much slower. All the times that I've played live PLO cash in Vegas, it's always been complete mayhem chaos, raise, re-raise, playing massive pots. And then as soon as it becomes a tournament, the whole dynamic changes. Yeah, I think PLO cash is just, you know, gamble, gamble, <laughs> try and press those edges as much as possible. Plus, a lot of times in, in those, you get a lot of more recreational players that want to splash it up. Here's a look at the final table. The winnings from last year and the ages of the players, Kaiser and Wiseman, the youngest two at age 31. Negrano had a stellar year in 2022, of course, winning Super High Roller Bowl, collecting 4.7 million in total earnings. The other players are not too shabby either, as far as their earnings go. Keep in mind that these guys, from my perspective, are mostly PLO players, with the exception of Negrano. Yeah, it's funny. He, he Negranu, for all the vast experience that he has, might have the least PLO experience among this group of five. Yeah. <laughs> which is wild. Start with 1.1? 1.08. Imagine how many hands of, like, online PLO, like Ronald Kaiser and Dylan <laughs> Wiseman have played. Yeah, it's millions and millions. It's <laughs> like absurd. rainbow flop here between these two. Still a 60-40 situation as Wiseman flops two pair. Top and bottom. Bottom two for
Kaiser. Fleeting Flight says D next with 4.7 million in winnings from 4 million in buy-ins. Hey man, you gotta risk it to get the biscuit, as the great philosopher Brent Hanks always says. McGrown had a rough WSOP and then <coughs> just made it all back in that one big event right here in the PokerGo studio. That was phenomenal. Cesar in the house says playing I play Pielo Cash, Tunica, Biloxi, and Houston. Sounds like you're you're traveling with the band. <laughs> Go Fish says, I have no idea how to play any game with less than four cards. Well, then you're in the right place right now. Me too. You win. Small pot to show down here. Let's Play is asking, where is this? This is the Poker Go studio in Las yeah, Vegas. Around stud eight. So stud eight? <laughs> Anybody? I don't even know what it is. That's per that's why I <laughs> want to play study. I'm not 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 your customer. Oh, what the fuck? You play study one round, no? I'll play anything. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Rod Rodnoff will play anything. <laughs> More the merrier. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you feel that way. <laughs> Playing enough. Wiseman. Cashing every Joyce PO event. like the funnest tournament involving Omaha. It's yeah. so fun um, because I there's so much to it. Like it's constantly thinking about what game to call and it always changes. I'm learning mix. Right. Actually, I think that is the biggest skill in the tournament, knowing which game yeah. to play. Based on your stack size, like I was playing, I was calling PLO almost always at my table. Then Ben Lamb shows up, doubles up on my left. Eh, we're playing Limit Hold'em. <laughs> <laughs> you know, switch, like, it's always a, and if you get short, play some high-low regular. Like, so much in detailed strategy. Lines <coughs> up. Here you see a limp from Rodin off. Migrano, of course, a big fan oh, of the mixed games. I always find it funny when there's a mixed game player among specialists. Migrano, of course, happy to switch the game right now. Play whatever you want. You can want to make up a game, I'll play. <laughs> These guys, especially someone like Dylan Wiseman, very protective of his corner, you know. Can't blame him, but it's all about PLO, and it's all about being on top of just that one game. And it feels to me as though... The, spe the true specialists I started just have angry. a lot less gamble in them because they only want to play a game if they're an absolute <laughs> expert in it. And mixed game players, even though they feel confident in all the games, are totally fine giving up small edges because they realize, you know, they might not be the best in every game, but they're also not the worst. So they're going to find their spots to win their money. And for someone like Negranu, the way he just explained it, you know, oh, Ben Lamb is on your left and he doubles up. Sure, I'm not going to call PLO anymore. Might go to stud high, high low regular or limit hold'em. That is a beautiful dynamic of the game of poker, and that's why I love the mixed games myself. Meanwhile, we got a big pot brew in here. Negrano with top set, like running off with a straight draw, open and straight draw, and the nut flush draw. Yeah, Negrano check raised the pot on the flop here. Three twenty. Rodinoff just called, going to take one off. Ace on the turn. One of the few cards that doesn't give Rod enough straight. King Queen is good. I do not have King Queen. Negranu nice. bets enough to put Rod enough all in. We got our first big showdown. Yeah. 1.6 <laughs> million in the middle. No, 14 I outs. I didn't think I was either. For Rod enough. You're not folding three plus. The hearts, the kings, and the eights. Got all the 65% for Negranu. That's good, right? The more pairs, the merrier. <laughs> He's like, I don't know about that. <laughs> There's no deuce of clubs anywhere. I haven't seen deuce of clubs. Maybe it's not from there. Massive river card upcoming. Rodinoff almost out the door here. Plenty of outs. Deuce river card. Deuce of Play. diamond. That's not it. Daniel Negranu winning a massive pot here to get us down to four-handed play. Rodinoff takes Good home. Thank you. Thank you. $61,000 for his fifth place finish. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a real game here. What did you think of the flop, Dan? Here comes Kid Poker. I know. Well, I, I was, I was, it was favorable. favorable. But you know like what's I'm, weird, Donnie? You know, hey. 
I thought it was good. I thought he was never going to win that hand. That's just <laughs> how PLO goes in my mind. Uh, here's a look at the chip counts presented by Global Poker. Kaiser still on top with over three million. Alan Lee two point nine. The ground now up to two point three million. Dylan Wiseman the short stack with one point one million. This is still anyone's game. If you're just tuning in on YouTube, we'll be live here all day until we have a winner. Please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We're streaming live every single day this week. So you better subscribe right now. Don't miss any of the action of the 2023 USBO. Still got it. Our first giveaway for a free annual subscription to PokeGo will take place when we hit 500 likes on the video. Oh. I mean, we're kind of close. Got a good start know, already. Count, exactly so right. <coughs> it's dirty. One more. Five K more. Like two point three. Yeah, about two point three is correct. We got about three. I still want to know what everyone's drinking. <laughs> I got a coffee. Remco's got a zero sugar Coca Cola and course, a water. Of course. <coughs> you didn't want your fancy coffee today. No, I was pretty jazzed up from that coffee yesterday. That was a lot of caffeine. <laughs> I'm pretty pumped about the the Starbucks over at Crystal's finally added mobile ordering. Oh. So I can just order it here, walk over, pick it up, and come back. That's great. Before you'd have to go over there. Sometimes you go over there. I mean, Chaos. 50 people in line. <laughs> it's the little things in life that make the difference. No nine for either player. Negrano with a nice little draw there. Donnie, is this what they call a wrap? Because yeah. He, yeah. he has the open end straight draw and the gut shot. Yeah. See, I know what I'm talking about. Lee also with a straight draw. If you're just tuning in, and if you're more of a hold'em specialist, <coughs> you have to use two cards from your hand. So no straight from the ground just yet. I guess the lower end of the wrap for, for Lee here. Lee not scared. Paired board, he ain't scared. Ace on the turn here, giving Negrano a flush draw. Not the biggest of flush draws, but Still helping Negrani out here. He's up to 83% equity on this hand. Already over half a million chips in the middle here after that raise on the flop. Negrani not scared to play big pots. Lee, however, taking back control, betting on the turn here. Do you think Negrano is sort of discarding his flush draw because it's only eight high, or do you think it helps him a little bit by you know, wanting to see the river? I think it helps him a little bit. can also block some of the flush draws that Lee might have. Not that I think Dan is going to put in a ton of chips with, <laughs> you know, in eight high flush if he makes it. He's going to give it up, though. Yeah, despite having 83% <coughs> equity in this hand, Negrano lays it down. That ace of spades, too scary. Of course, giving Lee credit potentially for a nine. Has to give him some aces as well. And here's a look at our best promotion ever. If you are an annual subscriber to Poker Go, you give yourself a chance to win a seat into our million dollar free roll. Yes, that is US dollars, million dollar free roll in December. Sign up right now for PokerGo.com. Use promo code DREAMSEAT to save $20 on your annual subscription, and then you'll be entered in three raffles. That's in right. each raffle, we're sending one player to Las Vegas to play in the million-dollar free roll. Yeah, you it. could be playing against that guy right there, Dan Nolengranu. Exactly If he right. makes it into the top 40, you could compete against him for a $500,000 top prize. Yes, this event is for the top 40 players on the PGT standings as well as select invitees, including three annual subscribers from PokerGo. We'll make it into a special little Vegas trip for you. Take some cool photos of you for you to frame at home. Get to hang out with all your favorite poker players. And all you have to do is be an annual subscriber to have a chance 
to win a seat into the million dollar free roll at the end of the year. That's pretty good value. Kaiser here with ace king, king and eight. Eight with the over pair. Wiseman with the back door, not flush draw. That is always a tempting hand. Let's Play is wondering, if you win the free subscription, does it count as an annual subscriber? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Speaking of backdoor flush draws, Wiseman now one step closer to hitting it. However, the board pair is always scary in this game. Guys, are over pair is still good here. Doesn't look as good though. The fact that Wiseman has two nines blocking a lot of straights probably gives him more confidence didn't as well. Have short hair, didn't you? Didn't you used to have like really short hair? Um, it's a little shorter than this. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time I'm wearing a hat. Negroni's more interested in <laughs> Alan Lee's haircut. <laughs> good haircut. As it continues here. <coughs> Lee off to a very strong start today. Already up 900k on the day. Kay. Wiseman calls again. Let's go see a river card. Wiseman clearly not giving Kaiser credit for a straight here. <coughs> because of those nines that block a lot of his hand. And there comes the flush. Not flush for Wiseman. Not a single club in Kaiser's hand. So he has to give Wiseman credit for more clubs in his range. The hand, of course, completely different. If, Ki if Kaiser has the ace of clubs and Wiseman only has potentially like a king high flush that would give Kaiser a lot more bluffing opportunities if he were to choose to take that route not flush Kaiser checks behind and loses this one to Wiseman. That's in. Thank you. It's a very weird turn card. I like this. Hmm? I like this. I believe you. I'm happy I didn't check raise the flop. I think I lose the hand. Hmm? I'm happy I didn't check raise the flop. Oh, you win it on the flop. Oh, I won on the flop? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this way I made more then. Wiseman, so winner what? of one WSB more bracelet. <coughs> well, now you have to get there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right? <laughs> Made more by getting there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Better to be lucky than good. Made more getting in. Yeah, way better to be lucky than good. Take it all day. I'm glad I checked it. That was uh, Wasn't getting, whatever that was happening, it probably was not getting folded to. Who knows? You know, the pair board was paired. I did. You could have a full <coughs> house. I was. You only have a flush. I was very scared. So it, you bet. What do you, what do you think he's saying? I was very scared. He's it saying he's got you, bro. It was scary. Wiseman eager to get involved in many hands, so it seems. Confident in his abilities post-flop. Something that cannot be under the, the importance of that cannot be understated. We're cruising along here to 500 likes, meaning we're coming up on our first giveaway. <coughs> Buy-in today is $10,000, 200K up top for the winner. 
if this is your first US poker poker event that you're watching, this is part of a series of tournaments. We are on event number four. We have 10 total events ending with a 50k no limit hold'em. The overall winner of the series who gathers the most points will get a 50k cash bonus and a trophy that weighs 60 pounds. It's a gold eagle trophy. Lee here raising to 90k. Wiseman stabbing right back from the small blind, making it 300,000, Donnie. That is some aggressive poker. It's going to get it done. Look at that. Now all of a sudden, Wiseman <coughs> chipping up nicely. Nacho Barbero is our current leader in the overall standings. Cruise right past 500 subs, 500 likes, sorry. Let me think of a good question here for the chat for our giveaway. Got a good question. PLO related. <coughs> Some great <coughs> questions in the chat, Donnie. People wondering how the heck are they going to get that 60 pound trophy home? It's going to cost extra on the plane. Good question. <coughs> Maybe somebody in Vegas will win it. <laughs> yeah, that's That'd be easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Negrano has to win it. And Sean Winter won it last year, right? I think he left in the studio for like six months. <laughs> Finally picked it up. <laughs> and he lives in Vegas. Negrano bets 100K here. Doesn't have a whole lot of equity because Lee has the ace-king as well to go along with the nine. Eight on the river. Pair of nines, the winning hand here. Good to see Negrano bluff at this again. We're going to best 300,000. It's a top pair, top kicker for Lee enough here, Donnie? You're asking the wrong person. Feels like an extremely tricky spot. But if anyone can figure it out, I think Alan Lee can. Hearts missed. You do have the king of hearts in your hand. He doesn't look like he wants to fold, that's for sure. <coughs> Don't see any reason or... Is that a sigh fold? That's a, uh, that's a reluctant <laughs> fold for sure. Reluctant I fold. <laughs> Negrano <laughs> takes back some <laughs> chips that he gave up earlier. And here's my first question for the giveaway. Answer the question in the chat. I'll pick a random winner, so there's no wrong answers. What is your favorite Pot Limit Omaha starting hand? Favorite Pot Limit Omaha starting hand. If you're new to Pot Limit Omaha, just pick any four cards. Donnie, what is your favorite Pot Limit Omaha starting hand? I like, like, you know, like a Queen Jack 10 9 double suited. Yes, that's. I mean, I obviously, you know, you peel back the Ace Ace King King. I mean, great, right? Your eyes are lighting up, but. The Queen Jack 10 9 double suited, I think, is the equivalent. If you were to ask me and hold them, I'd be like Jack 10 suited. Right. You know. Yeah, yes. aces are great. Don't get me wrong. But you give me some Jack 10 suited. We're a lot of possibilities here, okay? Yeah, I'm totally happy getting it all in with that hand. Button Ray is going to take it down here. I think 98% of the responses so far have contained an ace. Yes. <laughs> and probably 85% of them have said double suited. <laughs> That's the name of the game, Pot Limit Omaha. You want to be double suited. Negrano walk into the studio, whatever vegan sandwiches he's bringing along today. Dylan Wiseman. Come on, Dylan. Unclip that center strap. Oh, Ronald Kaiser getting the blood he's flowing ready. here. He's getting let's ready. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Who One, said poker is not two, a sport? Three. 
Alan Lee with the T. Rodanov looks like a he looks like a businessman. He All looks, business. He looks rich. <laughs> yeah, he does look rich. <laughs> Rod enough, all in, already eliminated. If you're just tuning in, we start with five players. We're down to four. Negrano looking for his first win in a PLO event at the studio. I looked it up, by the way. The last time Negrano won a pot limit Omaha, or no, sorry. The last time Negrano won a tournament that um, was Omaha, either high-low or, or yep. pot limit Omaha, 2003. Oh, wow. Way back then. 20 years ago. Is that the series? No, I believe no. it was some small event at Binion's. Wow. Some, some $600 high-low event. So he's the only player remaining without an Omaha bracelet, I believe. Wow. Despite having, what's he got, seven bracelets? He's at a big disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Wiseman's got a bracelet. He won a 1K PLO. Ronald Kaiser, we already talked about him. He won a, I believe it was a 3K six max PLO. <laughs> and Alan Lee there. won, yeah. I think, I I think it was like PLO yeah. slash yeah. big O. Right. We'll find out later. <laughs> there are a whole bunch of crushers. Uh, yeah, in a few hours. You had what? Yeah, I'll find out in a few hours. No, I was, the other hand, I was definitely bluffing, but I had, they turned spades too. I had jack 10-8 and spades. Uh. And I was like, shit, I think he has ace-9. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't have ace-9. <laughs> well, you weren't bluffing me because I jacked Keep those high, submissions <laughs> coming in the <laughs> chat. Let us know your favorite Paul Lim Omaha hand, starting hand. Getting lots of fun. Slow-mo replays of these styles of betting. That was a quick one that took it down. Kaiser back in the lead, but of course almost almost tied with Alan Lee. Lots of big cards already being folded. Kaiser defending his big blind with basically a three card hand. A6 king rolls off the deck. Definitely more favorable, favorable for Kaiser. At the completion of this hand, I will announce the winner. Oh, baby. Better get those guesses in. Kaiser's going to make the call. Neither player with anything here. Kaiser just not believing it. Makes a straight on the river. No flush is possible. Still on the paired board. Can't be too excited. Decides to lead here, go for a little bit of value. That's pot. Excuse me. Lee lays it down correctly, and Kaiser chips up. <coughs> All right. The funky hand. It's this one? Oh, yeah. Bring me those tunes. The gold wrists. Bracelet winners at this final table. Wow. Lots of them. Negrano, of course, has plenty. But the interesting note here, as Donnie mentioned, Wiseman, Kaiser, and Lee, all PLO-related tournament wins. 
Negreanu has six of them, and it's been quite a while since he won one. All the way back to 2008, since he's won one in Las Vegas, Donnie. That is almost impossible with the value or with the volume of tournaments that he plays. Wild. It is wild indeed. All right. The draw is done. We got a winner. The winner is Micah Van Hove, or Van Hove, if you're from the U.S. Micah Van Hove. The full amount. Micah sent an email to social at pokergo.com. Include a screenshot of you logged into your YouTube account so I can see One that it's you. And then I will you get in touch more. to credit you with an come? annual yep. subscription to PokerGo. Can you pass it for me, dealer? Six, 1.1, 1. 1, 2, 3. It's 1.4 behind plus that. Wiseman raising the 105 on the button. Kaiser wanting an exact count. Pot re-raise here with the queen, jack, nine, three, double suited. That is some power poker. Kaiser is not letting any spot slip by him. Very fun to watch him play. I appreciate everyone for tuning in. Smash like and subscribe if you can. That's all we asked for here. We're going to be streaming until we have a winner today. As long as it takes. Oh, wow. Negranu going Phil Helmut style and unwrapping a giant, what looks like a sandwich here at the table. Let's see if Negranu's sandwich eating skills are a little more humane than the way <laughs> Helmut treated that <laughs> roast beef sandwich. Uh. <coughs> Wiseman gives it, some, gives it some time, lays it down. It's a good-looking sandwich, Donnie. It's about the size of his head. I think the last Look time... Look how big that thing is. The, the last time there was sandwich <laughs> talk involving Negranu, you ended up Googling the vegan salami that he was buying. Which I, looks like it's probably Kaiser. in that sandwich. Kaiser. Oh. Kaiser. Kaiser. <laughs> you know who Kaiser Sose is? <laughs> <laughs> Kaiser Sose. You don't know who that is? Sounds familiar. Kaiser Sose. You don't know? No. Nobody knows who freaking Kaiser Sose is? From a movie? Usual Suspects. Uh, I oh my God, it. what a great movie. You have to watch it. It's fantastic. Uh, Gold. It. Might have been when you were born, but. <laughs> <laughs> I want that sandwich. I'm asking him to bring you one tomorrow. I could text him and ask what's on, what's on the sandwich. Actually, I think I still have the recipe from his prior sandwich from <laughs> the last time. There it is. <laughs> this is go this goes back to super high roller bowl. Loosey goosey in this sandwich. So you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna play tight. <laughs> in the sandwich or with your sandwich? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's a good looking sandwich. <laughs> I think it's probably the same one. So the last time. Negrano ate a sandwich on stream. It was actually during the PGT Championship. It was Eve's salami with follow your heart cheese, pickles, mustard, and Walden <laughs> Forms zero <laughs> calorie mayo. Series. Usual Suspect was a great movie. movie yeah. Older film, movie. correct? Huh? Older film. Older film, yeah. Kevin Spacey was in it, which, I don't, you know, whatever. Don't, you know, the movie was good. <laughs> I'm not, no political statement about his uh, pr uh, extracurricular activities. It's completely fair. Benicio Del, Del Toro. This is a really good movie. <coughs> you, have, you said you had 1.4? 1.4 before the antis. Do you pronounce your last name? <laughs> Escobar. One's got a mouthful of food. <laughs> Probably half of the people got it wrong, so. Well, I've wanna heard every variation. I want to be on the right side. I would say Negrano. Very close, very fine. With accent, it's 
There's no O. A lot of people say Negrano. 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 Yeah. Negrano. Most people can't do the. That sounds gr- Eastern European, actually. It is Romanian. Negrano. Oh, really? 100%. Yeah, ah. I'm Romanian. Then, okay, then I know how. See, like without the. Most people can't say Negra. They can't say R. They can't roll their R's. In, in this well, I'm, I'm good with R. I know you can. <laughs> saying here they don't roll yeah. their R's. So here I would just tell them Negranu. Uh, Negranu. Uh, Negranu, da. It means black, really. Negri, negre. Uh, All right, Donnie, let's hear it. I can't roll my R's, so don't look at me. Negranu. <laughs> yeah. You're Dutch. Negranu. That's Negranu. Easier, try it, try it with me at home, people. Yeah. Do it out loud. Oh, yeah. Negranu. I've heard Niagara New. I've heard N word. <laughs> Niagara New. <laughs> that's not even close. Yeah, I changed my name here to. That's more like Ron, Ronald. That's actually with a. R, that's a Ronald. Oh, it's really Ronald. But they. I, I just say Ronald. Did you say his name? <laughs> yeah. Ronald. Yeah. Of course. Well, yeah. Ronald Kaiser. That's your countryman. I mean, my you know that even I. When mispronounce my own name for the sake of I making it easy. Like I people here say hummus, yeah. but it's hummus. Right? Yeah. And she hates that I speak English, and then all of a sudden I bust out hummus. Mm-hmm. She's like, you're speaking English, then you just go hummus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got to love it. It is, it is funny how the uh, <laughs> us foreigners like pick the easy way out to make sure that the Americans can, can pronounce things. Meanwhile, we've arrived on the river. Dylan Wiseman, just a lot of contemplation. Every street. Decides to flick it in here. Makes the right call. Well done, Mr. Wiseman. Just the two pair with the king kicker on that four diamond on that four diamond board. Niagara, like Niagara Ooh, Falls. I mean, I can't. <laughs> I mean, what? what? I've, I've heard worse, and I will not repeat. <laughs> I will Trying not bring repeat. it to the next tournament. <laughs> Scored a lot. Santiago asking, does he not have a flush? No, you have to have at least two of the suit in your hand. So in this game, for all the all the people that are new to Pot Limit Omaha, you have to have at least two cards from your hand oh, that you use to play. Do you know the movie? I haven't watched. I mean, yeah, I, I know of it, but I've never watched it. What the hell's going on? It's a classic film. <laughs> Negrano going on tilt for <laughs> reasons unrelated <laughs> to the game of poker. Because he's too <laughs> old. It's, it's Negrano, okay, he's a boomer. Old. Yeah. <laughs> Total <laughs> boomer. Hey, you had a rough life, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the chat. Have you, have you seen The Usual Suspects? <laughs> I have seen The Usual Suspects, but it's been so long. Yeah, that same. No, it's been a while, but the, isn't the first scene on the, on the boat? The first scene of Usual Suspect yeah. is on the boat, right? Yeah. That's the movie? Yeah, I, I have seen it for sure, 100%. I mean, it's it's a shame the movie got canceled. I want to I wanna date the chat. I want to know how old the yeah. people in the chat are. If if the majority of them have seen it, like Magnus here says, yes, classic. <laughs> Smile, the time gifts, yes. The unknown icon, of course. Mark Becker, Usual Suspects, great movie. We have an old chat. We got boomers out there, baby. We boom it. That is great. <coughs> Christoph Schneider said no, so Christoph is like 24 years old. Anthony Pettit <laughs> says no spoilers, please. <laughs> is there is there a statue of limitations on spoilers <laughs> for movies that came out basically an entire generation ago? <laughs> uh, by the way, shout out Kevin Pollock was in Usual Suspects. Of course, big poker fan, always plays the main event. Always follows along with our coverage. Super. I love how the usual suspect question got our chat the most riled up of anything. That's right. I'll, I'll give you a, a tough one here, Donnie. What's a better movie, Usual Suspects or Casino? I mean, I'm a fan of Casino, so I'll say Casino. Yeah. I guess we're we're a biased crowd here. Yeah. 
Yeah, what, what are people's ages? Spam your age in the they, chat. They have been. I, I see that, and I, I just want to <laughs> know. 67, 26, 44. I mean, it's all over. How old are you? Oh, 48. People are all saying Casino is a better movie. I love it. Here come the ages, baby. Oh, yeah, great. A lot of, lot of 30s. 73 Started out there. Poker, 112, that's a lie. <laughs> The person who's 112 probably lives on the moon. <laughs> you know how we always get people from people that watch from North Korea like or from the moon are the Son, ones that are. Over I started 100. playing poker when you was born. Antonio Abrego, our photographer, I, I guess is 250 years old. I should ban Antonio <laughs> from the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Lee here with the raise, ace king nine three with one suit. Kaiser in the small blind. We all know Kaiser doesn't like folding. With the suit, like he's been in every hand. He has been in every hand. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, he's going to be involved. It must be nice to have this much confidence in any game of poker to approach every hand like an opportunity. Oh, yeah. That's right, Antonio. Smash oh. the like button. Ma Thumbs up, baby. Magnus says, what is casino? Small one, yeah. Is this me being a boom boomer again? No, the opposite. I don't know what that's you living under a rock You're like forever. The <laughs> casino is like one of the all-time movies. I think I've just joined casino better than what movie? Better than The Usual Suspects. That's what Remco asked the chat. He wants to know everyone's opinion. Uh, ch flop one check, check here. Kaiser checks again on the turn. Lee bet 75K. Kaiser makes the call. Like I said, this guy is not easy, but in this case, he is a little off the mark here as Lee hits the nut flush on the turn. Gets the check mark as well. <coughs> Lee, of course, going to go for value here with the nuts. Whenever, whenever a movie involves some sort of gambling or something Vegas, I'm just all in. I mean, yeah. Uh, some of the some of the newer stuff that involves that stuff, they're just, they don't know what they're doing. Let's see if Kaiser wants to get funky here. He doesn't really have anything to, you know get that confidence from and he does lay it down stacks are deep better get your pot of coffee ready or you know get some snacks maybe make yourself a sandwich because we are here for the long haul Thank you. clown says just watch rounders with matt damon this weekend matt damon and ben affleck were on the bill simmons podcast recently oh i missed that Thank you. And they kind of teased Rounders 2. Oh, my God. Said they're exploring it because I guess they have, like, a studio partnership thing together that they're working on. They said they've been exploring it. Ooh, baby. <coughs> Here's a look at the tournament overview presented by GTO Wizard. 77 entries, 11 cashed. We lost Ben Lamb and Sean Winter just before the final table. 200K for first today at this final table. Action on Wiseman with a double-suited ace-queen. Kaiser with Kings. We could see a clash here, Donnie. Oh, yes. Kaiser's Kings not double suited, but he is in a bit more trouble given that his flush draw is no good. Wow. I mean, there's also no diamonds left, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> Lee defending here from the big blind. Queen, queen, jack rolls off the deck. Great spot here for Wiseman, who has trips with the ace kicker. Sorry, has a full house. Excuse me. I was just looking at the ace queen there. I mean, trips with the ace kicker works, too. That's true. It's <laughs> enough. It's <laughs> enough right now. No one can beat that as we speak. Just a full house on the flop. No big deal. We'll have payouts on the screen intermittently. I can just 
tell you guys right now what these players are getting paid. By the way, you can always check out PTC.com for uh, tournament schedules, results, and a live reporting of our events. There are no live reporting spoilers for this event, so feel free to check that out. But the remaining four players are guaranteed $77,000, then 100K for third, uh, 146 for second, and 200K for first. Wiseman now has uh, two full house options as he also pairs his five. Nothing in there for Kaiser, who does have outs. The king would give him a better full house, of course. Third card's a six. How much is in the middle? 390. Thank you. Wait, are you allowed to ask the dealer how much is in the pot? Shouldn't you keep track of it yourself? I mean, you should, but you can also just ask the dealer. I mean, <coughs> that's Dylan, the dealer's job. Dylan Wiseman, I mean, that's a... Uh, for for I a genius like him, I would assume he always knows every single thing. Bets 100K, gets paid off by the pair of kings, and Wiseman now chips up nicely, closing in on 2 million chips. It's a very close battle, the same way we had yesterday with the four-handed battle. Yeah. Here's a look at GTO Wizards. Scan the code on the screen. Pause the stream for just a second if you want to go check it out. The number one app for poker players. If you want to get better at the game of poker, GTO Wizard is the way to go. Fun way of challenging your brain, learning something new, or potentially adjusting your strategy based on some of those learnings. And you know, I know that Donnie Didn't think you had a good enough is in call. those GTO Wizard streets all the time. Oh yes, gotta love it. It's kind of like GTOWizard.com/pokergo too. Exactly. If you don't want to scan the code, GTOWizard.com/pokergo. Yeah. Go check it out. I'd like to fold if I beat that. You can get started for free. Yeah, you, you can get, get started for free. They got a lot of free offerings. And then if you go from there, 10% off your first purchase. GTO Wizard. As Bramco said, I'm in there multiple times a day. They got a lot of great stuff going on. Cash games, multi-table tournaments, even spin and go uh, stuff that you can study tools. Yeah, so you can just tell, you can tell the, the site what you specialize in. Of course, you can learn everything, but the cool thing is you can play versus GTO, and yep. then learn from how you're playing, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things to do. Try and play, just get in there against the bot. Play 50 to 100 hands a day. It tells you on every single street what what you uh, what you might have done wrong. It gives you a score. You can review hands. You can even set up certain scenarios. You're like, okay, I want to play out of position versus a three bet. I'll set up that scenario, and then it'll constantly feed me hands to practice that exact scenario. Wow. As you can see, Donnie, I'm doing it right now. Yeah, any blunders yet? I will. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna make a fool out of myself right here. Drop the link to GTO Wizard in the chat so everyone has it if they'd like. It's just gtowizard.com slash poker go. Check it out. <coughs> we got tens here for Wiseman with the 7 6. Double suited Kaiser with Kings again. I feel like <laughs> Necronum and Lee are sort of spectators to Wiseman and Kaiser going back and forth as we see 3 6. Deuce roll off the deck. Wiseman again with the flush draw. Both players with an overpair. Yeah. Really enjoying the movie talk here. A 
Rounders, of course, greatest poker movie of all time. But what I'm wondering, yeah, chat, yeah. greatest movie of all time. Get, just leave, <laughs> just leave the poker to what, the side. What uh, what I uh, <coughs> what I want to know, what's the greatest movie that in, that involves Las Vegas? And I'll tell you my pick right now. It's Ocean's Eleven. But you, know, you tell me, what's the best movie? Love either, the either, either set in Las Vegas or includes Las Vegas. I I think I watch Ocean's Eleven at least twice a year. It's one of those when it's on and you're sort of browsing channels, you just leave it on. Like you cannot. Oh you, yeah. You cannot look away. Oh, The Hangover. That is great too. The Hangover is one of my all-time favorites. A little side story here. The Hangover came out in 2009. That's when I turned I turned 21 in 08, but 2009 was my first time coming to the WSOP. So I came to Las Vegas, and then I went to see The Hangover in the movie theater in Las Vegas, and then you have that scene where they're driving into the city mm -hmm. just past the M Resort. Na, na, na. I'm not going to do the whole song. Don't worry. <laughs> but that, that is, to me, like Vegas. That's iconic, them showing up the Caesars Palace. Oh, man, i got to watch The Hangover again. What? It's 40, right? Vegas well, vacation. A lot of love for, for Casino. Yeah, in the chat. Blue Nose says Con Air. <laughs> I don't know if that counts. I mean, the, the end scene, like they crashed in Las Vegas, but I don't know if that Whoa, counts. spoilers. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> Lee here with a raise with a pretty looking Queen 9 8 4 double suited Wiseman now with Kings. Kings are making their way around the table. Fear and loathing in Las Vegas. <laughs> what about leaving Las Vegas? Fear and Loathing is such a trip as a movie. Yeah. Ocean's Eleven. Every time I walk into Bellagio, I think of Ocean's Eleven. Oh, yes. Rick asked if there's any giveaways today. Well, we already did one. You missed one. We're gonna do. We're gonna do more. <coughs> we're gonna do more. Plenty, plenty more coming. Three-way action here on the flop. As the third spade hits, Wiseman, the only player with a spade, but not even an ace. Yeah. Wiseman with a straight. That is the best hand currently. <laughs> Wolverine because it has Negrano. Good, that's a good shout. Four spades now on board. Of course, doesn't change a thing as far as the spades go, but what it does change is that Lee makes a higher straight. Yeah. I have a straight. Not higher straight. Mine's, I don't think I, I think you win. <laughs> Well, limit all my is the type of game where Four everyone nine, just three, tables the cards and let the dealer figure it out. <laughs> yep. Oh, you made it. No. You, know, you got this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, had, you had to show on the turn. Yeah, yeah, four or five. That's why I was confused. That's why I was confused. Pretty hand here for Mr. Wiseman. Ace King eight seven double suited. Peter Griffin, uh, if you just go to gtowizard.com slash poker go, that link will take you right into a portal where you can operate for free for twenty four hours and then get ten percent off your first purchase if you want to continue on down the funnel. <coughs> How much did you set the hand with Daniel? 1.8 or so, so I have what? 1.3, Kaiser called on the button. And Grani three bet. Jack 10, 8, 7, double suited. Very pretty hand as well. We can see that his heart's 
They ain't working so well, given that Wiseman has the ace king of hearts. Wiseman repots it here. <coughs> Kaiser gets out of the way. 1.462. That should put Daniel all in if Daniel One wants to call. Point four, right? And then no, he's 60. Gonna, okay, he's going to have some chips behind, sorry. That's 60, 1.46. So I'm good there? I can keep the rest? <laughs> I think I know what you got, bro. Good cards. <laughs> That's my read. You probably have good cards too, right? Brownie's probably guessing that I was Wiseman goofing has two we'll aces, see. but we can see he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, how much does he have left that I could maybe fold? Negrano suits four, being five. covered. One four five. Okay. A big problem. Maybe he'll fold the flop. That's not a. That's a thing. If his oh, suits lied, were live, oh. <laughs> the equities would have been almost 50-50. <laughs> we're basically looking at Jack Ten versus okay. Ace King. Yeah, one forty five more, Daniel. One forty five. Okay. Actually, Weisman I feel lucky. Here is only going to have one hundred and forty five k behind <laughs> going to the it's flop. I, know, I understand. <laughs> I do feel like pretty, pretty short as well, 455k yeah. yeah, behind. Do. Eventually. Wow. All right, right chat, here we go. Call for those cards. Nine. Here we go. Not a good card. Deuce, ace, Jack. eight on the flop. I'm going to wager all my chips. <laughs> How much is it? 145. <laughs> that was like not, not, not a good flop, flop for That's Daniel, bad. but. Okay, so what do I, I have mean, to catch? <laughs> he might just that. be priced in here. <laughs> we can see just how bad of a shape he is. Maybe I catch eight, eight. That'd be fun. Okay. <coughs> it's not good. Uh, yeah, I don't. You gotta have hearts? You have hearts too? Okay, I have straight. Backdoor straight. Oh, you don't even have. Oh, wait a minute. I thought you had three aces. No, just top two. Oh, top two. Okay. It's still a good flop, though. Wow. I thought he had aces. And Brown, you hoping to run out of straight here? I thought you were fooling around. I wasn't. I was double suited and pretty. That's the only thing he's. So I mean, pretty. Jack Jack. Jack. So yeah, nine is ten, the ten. Right? <laughs> you know, three. please. <laughs> That's not it. Four on the turn will seal it for Wiseman, who receives a massive double up, up to 3.4 million chips. Negrano down to 310k. <laughs> Send this man your energy. Daniel Negrano in major trouble. The trophy looks nice. Yeah, yeah. That was a good spot to win the trophy. Ugh. Don, Donnie, is this a bad beat just because you can't really get away from this? <laughs> I don't think it's a bad beat. Yeah. I'll count it out there, though. It feels just like it's just, it's just and then ace. Oh. two playable hands in PLO <laughs> running into one another. I had mixed feelings about you know, the Similar to what you see in Hold'em. <laughs> but, yeah. but I still didn't think it was good for me. Mm -hmm. All right, Daniel Negreanu needs some help. Send this man your energy as he is down to just seven big blinds. Here's a look at the chip counts presented by Global Poker. Dylan Wiseman now, our new chip leader with 84 bigs. Lee and Kaiser also very healthy with 76 and 72, respectively. Back inside the PokerGo studio in Las Vegas. If you are in Las Vegas, you can always just walk on by. Come say hi in the studio. Three point three. Negrano with ace Plus six five double suited. Yeah. Wants to see a flop. Of course, in PLO you can play the short stack a little oh, more coy than in no limit hold. <laughs> like two point eight. Okay, thank you. People in the chat saying the three bed was horrendous. Do send us your analysis. We appreciate it. Yeah, let's go, chat pros. Yeah, that's the reason you guys are here. Guys and girls, I should <laughs> say. Meanwhile, ace is all around here. Okay. Only one ace left in the deck. 270 back. Negrano has 270 back. Let's see if Wiseman is going to try to squeeze here, but his ace king is not looking too strong. But he does. That is a fun little wrinkle here from the Why big blind. Kaiser with... Five. Queen, Jack, Jack, eight. Can Negrano make a comeback here? He could. He's got spades. If Lee folds, he also has hearts. So 
That is a much better starting point than <laughs> the last hand where his hearts were covered and his oh, pairs, we were, pairs were the same. If Flea gets out of the way, Negrano's hand looks a lot better all of a sudden. But Lee might be thinking, this is a decent price. Lee makes the call. we got three-way action. This is a crucial moment for Negrano. Yeah, Only 150k left behind That's the key card. with 560 <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> There's a five. Yeah, that had I needed a, a nine flop, not an eight. 39% equity for Negrano here. He's on leading the, the way in that regard. I mean, <laughs> th this this is all you could have hoped for, being in Negrano's shoes here. They He's not up check? against any overpairs. So should I do some crazy stuff? I'll wait a card. Ooh, checks. What a scary game this is. Eight on the turn. Absolutely. Perfect for Negranu makes a straight. No flush possibilities. One fifty. Negranu is all in. And guess what? Wiseman, the the man doing the betting. He is drawing stone dead. Lee still has some outs. He has a higher straight draw. 560. Negrano on his way to a potential triple up would bring him right back into the game. And there it is. Triple up secured, ladies and gentlemen. Bang, bang. Negrano back in the mix. Wiseman drawing dead. <laughs> We're going to see the river card either way. Right, back in action. Okay. Yes. Gets over. Okay. River card. It is an eight. What was your hand, Daniel? Ace, deuce, five, six, double suited. If you play Omaha eight or better, that's a very good hand in <laughs> Omaha eight or better. Six, double suited. In Omaha eight or better, this is a fabulous hand. Fabulous. If you, you play eight or better. I do. That yeah. is a good hand in eight or better. <laughs> <laughs> Negrano it back was also in the four mix. cards, and I had no money, and I said, let's gamble. I thought I had the best hand on the flop. I should have bet. All right. That was uh, a short-lived short stack as Negrano triples up. Here's a look at the 2022 U.S. Poker Open. Negrano and Wiseman also at the final table of event number four, won by Timon Nakamura. Wiseman there getting fifth, Negrano getting third. Nakamura had a really strong showing last year at the USPO. Not here this year. Easy come, easy go, as they say. They were making fun of his <laughs> own <laughs> play by saying how yeah. good of a PLO 8 hand it is. Three, six, seven, rainbow. And I'm sure it has to be bad. Huh? I'm sure it's pretty bad uh, for you to fold. I'm gonna fold a lot now. No, no. Dynamics change. Then he went times four. So I have to be careful now. Just tuning in to our live stream. We'll be here until yeah, there is a uh, winner. I got plenty, bro. We're going to do another giveaway eight, for a nine, free 50. annual subscription. Eight, six, what, probably. six, seven, oh, that's seven, About seven, eight. seven, thirty back. Yeah. When we hit 1,500 likes, I want to just. Looking for a partner. 1,500 likes for the next annual sub giveaway. So smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and please know that we have free live streams on our YouTube channel every day this week of the U.S. Poker Open. So. If poker is your thing, if you're into that thing, this beautiful game, we have a whole bunch of No Limit Hold'em action coming up in the next few days and also one more PLO event. I can't help myself. I get four cards that work together and they're double suited. I can't have to put all my money in. <laughs> you know, it's I like understand. this. <laughs> you know that, that vein? I did the same thing. Yeah, you did. You did. You did. Four double suited cards.
They were good ones too. Yeah, mine were good, close together. Mine pretty. were not. They were distant. <laughs> yeah. You had very, two very key ones. Seven eight was very big for you to have. Had me dominated. Well, Kaiser with aces in the small blind raises pot after a race from Lee and a call from Wiseman. Lots of big cards to go around. Negreanu folds his garbage. Five hundred and twenty K is the raise from Kaiser. Lee gives up his ace queen ten deuce. Of course that deuce not helping him. But Wiseman has a real decision to make here. King Queen Jack Nine has lots of possibilities. <coughs> Wiseman makes the call. We got a million in the middle. One point two to be exact. This is a big one. Aces, of course, always shrink a little bit on the flop unless you hit an ace. That's exactly what happens here. Kaiser right now with the best hand as it stands, but Wiseman has so many outs. Just tuning in to PLO for the first time. Doesn't have... Wiseman doesn't have a straight yet. He can hit a whole bunch of cards to hit his straight. Kaiser puts out a hefty bet here. Donnie, is is Wiseman just committed here given the size of his hand potential? 700K is the bet. I mean, is this like an ICM decision where he's looking at the ground of stack thinking, can I even play this for stacks right now? To me, it feels like a get in, but. Yeah, but Negreanu is also not like crippling short. Like, he doesn't have, like, three or four big blinds. I mean, Negreanu's got 21 and a <coughs> half big blinds. So... <coughs> Wiseman oh. does just call. Wow. Massive, massive pot developing here. 2.6 million in the middle. Both players have plenty of chips left behind. Either way this goes, it's going to have massive implications. Five on the turn is a complete blank. <coughs> Will we see Kaiser read the hand for what it is? But, you know, Wiseman has King, Queen, Jack, Nine. But he could also have King, Queen, Jack, Ten. And if that's the case... In that regard, though, it does help that Kaiser has the Ten of has Clubs ten in his yes. hand is blocking. <coughs> Definitely. That is He's also blocking with the Ace High Diamond. You're blocking those ace high flush draws. Making sure he has all that. <coughs> all in. All in. There it is. All in is the move. And a snap fold from <coughs> Wiseman. Power poker from SM. Ronald yeah. Kaiser. Up to over 4 million chips. The only player over 100 big blinds. Scary one. Mm -hmm. I had a full wrap. Scary one. I had a full wrap. Yeah, I was hoping you had it. I even had a diamond. Yeah, at Ace of Diamonds. I believe you. I wanted to fold the flop. That's how <coughs> shitty that is. I didn't. I wanted, I wanted to fold to. the flop. I don't think I'd go live wow. myself. Live with myself. If I had no diamonds. I fold the flop. Kaiser here with the double suited Queen Jack.
continues to press the action. <laughs> just like Negrano just said, when I see double suited, <laughs> I, I want to play. I don't think this is trophy huntable. I mean, it's close. You know what? Ickum. I'm going to do Ickum. Watch this. Ickum fold. You know what Ickum is? Sounds Japanese. It's a new strategy all the kids are learning. Ickum. Ickum. A.K.A. I. It's like knitting it up. M. Yeah, no, I. Oh. That's for poor people, Donnie. Come That's on. That's right. Maybe the ground is poor now. Yeah, you know? Who knows? Kaiser here turns trip jacks. Lee with top pair, now two pair. <laughs> Lee makes the call. Queen of diamonds on the river. Fills up Ronald Kaiser. He's got jacks over queens. Lee still operating here with two pair. Kings and jacks, ace kicker. <coughs> Remember, this is PLO. Got to play two cards, can only play two cards from your hand. Gives it up. More for Mr. Kaiser. Looks like we're up to 1,000 likes on the video. Remember, if we get to 1,500, my guy Remco is going to give away another free annual subscription uh, to seven, Poker Go. A $100 value. 1.8 before that. Can also get you entered in to our Dream Seat giveaway. And if you're a lucky winner of one of those Dream Seats, you will come out to Las Vegas and compete in the PGT Championship $1 million free roll. That's a, a lot of that's a lot a of money. Five hundred K first place prize. That's a lot of money. Imagine you're an annual sub. You hit the like button on a YouTube video. Mm. You win. <laughs> you come out to Las Vegas. You're seated at a table with Daniel Legrandu, Latoro Guerrera, Jeremy Osmus, all these crushers. Ten. You beat them all. And then and you, you win five hundred K. Just half. I mean, come on. Yeah. We might like speaking coffee. of movies. <laughs> that sounds we'll, we'll like make a movie. Out yeah, of that. exactly. That sounds like a movie. <laughs> Do appreciate everyone chiming in, tuning in. What's for lunch? What's for lunch? Donnie is going to town on his on his classic. Can you please explain what you're eating? Like you get you you bring this all the time, <laughs> and I never like I can't decipher what it it looks like chicken, but it, I think it's eggs. Oh, these are egg whites 
with some spinach in there. How many? How many egg whites? Oatmeal. Um, usually around 250 to 300 grams of egg whites. Like how many eggs is that? Like I have no idea. Oh. Um, and then oatmeal, just plain oatmeal. But I I mixed some hot sauce in here too. <coughs> it's the hot sauce that you turned me on to. Oh, the um, yellow bird. Yellow bird, yes. <laughs> and some spinach. So that's what that's what I got cooking here. My wife calls me a psycho for eating my eggs and oatmeal together. I just like throw them in one bowl and then eat them together. I absolutely love it. My wife thinks I'm a serial killer. So if she ever goes missing, you can probably just start looking with me. Um. <laughs> Wiseman, meanwhile, picks up a pot here from the blinds with a nice raise on the flop to 520K. These guys are really battling. Negreanu still the short stack, but you know, if you can double up once, you can double up twice. V-Hawk says, speaking of food, I made a killer pot roast last that night. Atta boy. Hmm? That was too loose of me. I got carried away. Happened to me too. Yeah. I saw Wise four cards. started today with 1.3 million, up to 2.1 million right now. All too far away from each other. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it just, you just want it, you know? A fellow countryman to Ronald Kaiser is Martin van der Geest in the chat asking, what is the best starting hand in PLO? Chat, can you please help me answer that question? Because, of course, in PLO, <coughs> there technically are multiple answers to that question. It's not In PLO, it's not really what's the best starting hand. It's what's your favorite starting hand. <laughs> you know, because, I mean... And what plays... Best is extremely subjective in this game. Right, and what <coughs> plays the best also... But yes, ace is double suited is definitely preferred. But it's it's hard to argue against king queen jack ten double suited or jack ten nine eight double suited stuff like that. I personally think that pairs in PLO are much harder to play the big pairs than the rundowns. Guru said, how many cards can you play from your hand? Two. You have to play two, and you can only play two. Okay. <coughs> so an extreme example of that is if it's ace, 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 ace on the board, you don't have quads. That's, that's very disappointing. Unlike Hold'em, where you can play the board. <laughs> I cannot play the board in Omaha. Check. <coughs> Check. Yeah, MF Brandy, take a shot every time you have to explain Omaha. That's we'd be hammered already. <laughs> but Omaha is a complicated game. Huh. Some would say it's the great game. Shout out Joey Ingram. <coughs> MMG says, H HCL says, PLO is too boring to stream and you guys are pulling 9,000 viewers. Guess why? <laughs> why are you guys here? Meanwhile, half a million in the middle. Negrano has 0%. He is contemplating here with a straight. However, Lee has a flush. If he calls this, he's going to be really short again. I mean, PLO is pretty boring, but if you want to take a positive spin on it, it's an intricate game, is what it is. 
It's definitely very intricate. <coughs> it's one of those games where you got to really like read between the lines in a lot of situations, trying to figure out the best course of action, as we see Daniel trying to do right here, right here. Michael Trevet, unless Ramco starts talking mayo, then I'm out. God, I haven't had mayo. Don't, in a while. don't we don't want we don't <coughs> want Remco talking about mayo. It, we'll be here all day. I mean, <coughs> we I mean got. This is Paul in mm. Omaha. We might be here all day anyway. <laughs> got plenty of these. Do you currently have mayo in your house? Yeah, of course. Huh? Just making sure. I mean, if you're gonna walk the walk, or what's the worst thing you got to walk the walk? Like, <laughs> if you. <coughs> Pilo does make my head hurt. <laughs> Negrano not wanting to give this one up. Might be a similar spot. Oh, we're gonna see him call. Oh, oh boy. Joe makes the call. <coughs> Flush for Alan Lee. He's gonna take it. Three, right? Big yeah. blow to Daniel Negreanu here. Damn. He's gonna be left with. Didn't have a club. I would have. Two hundred fifty k. Negreanu explaining <coughs> there that the club in his hand made him pull the trigger there. It's those small things in PLO sometimes that make you decide these things. Where are you go? <laughs> time to go times three again. <laughs> okay. Time to go times three again. Time You're sick. Oh, yeah. uh, how do you call that? Triple up. Triple up. <laughs> time. Hmm. Little bio board of Alan Lee, poker pro from beautiful Huntington Beach, California. WSB bracelet 2016. A true PLO specialist. All right, can the ground pull off another triple up, double up, quadruple up, whatever he, <laughs> whatever he needs, he needs <laughs> it fast. The <laughs> ground tries to see a flop here from the small of Jack eight six deuce. I wonder if players are trying to. I'm going to start trying to pick his what, pocket. Eighty more? Here. It's up to you. Do or die, now or later, whatever. It's up to you. Okay. <laughs> My friend used to do that in 1020. And it wasn't lying. I was calling, but, you know. I'd rather see the flop cheaper. Thank you. <laughs> the grounder does get to see a cheap flop here. What do we got there? Jack Hold nine. I'm sorry, Jack six, eight rolls off the flop. I do. I do, in fact. I do Not have stuff. Not great for Nirana. Not great That's at all. Bad. 60. Oh boy. Nice round number. Oh boy. Got 150 more, bro. She got hearts, she got straight, she got anything? Yes. He has a lot. 250, you could give me this. <coughs> We're going to hit 1,500 likes Shit. in <laughs> a few seconds. <laughs> <I'm> dead. <laughs> I might actually fold now. Oh, let me see. Man, could I fold this hand? What universe could I fold this hand in? Uh, actually, I think I can, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm going to fold. There Good it is. Got it. I had two pair. <laughs> Bet folding in PLO, much more common than it is in other Whatever games. Whatever you had. These some samples are hard. <coughs> Whatever you had. Three. Whatever you had, I, well, you would have won. No, yeah, actually, I'm if you raise pre, then I have to yeah, go. Yeah, you had to go with it. I must go with it, yeah. yeah 150. Exactly 150? Yeah. <laughs> Ronald's like, I need to know this number precisely. <laughs> 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 All right, everyone. I know. <laughs> who's in the chat right now, I promised a giveaway at 1,500 likes, and we hit 1,500 likes, so here we go. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. We're going to give away an annual subscription to Poker Go. And the annual subscription gets you into the raffle for the million dollar free roll Dream Seat giveaway. First raffle on June 6th. So I'm going to put all my chips in. Let's wait to see what happens here. Ace King 10 9 for Negranu. He is going to get called, and Lee here picks up pocket queens. Oh, yeah. This is massive. 
giveaway is is on pause right now. I mean, chat, you better start a, you better start cheering for Daniel here. Have fun. Going up against two opponents, Kid Poker at you risk. Know. Oh yeah, I'm good. I, you, I have the best hand. I, know, I, know. I got like, so good, and ace. great cards. You called too. No, nice. Good. I get more money. Well, the hand is against Lana where I lost like one million. <laughs> I have to think about. Five hundred and thirty k in the middle here. Nagrana with a chance to triple up again. Queen Jack Four <laughs> rolls off the deck. Top set for Lee. Nagrana with a wrap, meaning a big straight draw. Kaiser with two pair, almost drawing dead because of the set that Lee has. All the queens are in play right now. Kaiser does have backdoor spades. Lee, we see, has backdoor hearts. No one with backdoor diamonds. <coughs> Lee makes the call on the Grano, of course, already all in. We got some money on the side right now. <coughs> this hand could get a whole lot bigger if a spade comes off. Spade does not come off. What does come off is a straight for Negrano. Check. Now he has to fade a board pair versus Lee. Negrano in great shape once again to triple up. What do you guys want the river to be, huh? Huh, chat? I think we need the blank. Like, deuce of clubs? As long as the board, <laughs> as long as the board doesn't pair. <laughs> and Kaiser just continues firing. This is a very interesting hand. If the What's board pairs a jack, what is in the that would be a hand, that would be a card. I mean, I know that that would eliminate Daniel, but. You get boat over boat between the other two. That was 530. <coughs> it is five. Yeah, it is it's five. 530. Yeah, it's 153 ways. Yeah, plus my 80. 530 is the correct number. Lee, of course, not going to <coughs> fold. Makes the call. 700,000 wow. is the call. There's two million in the side pot. 530k in the main. Negrano's all in. <laughs> this is a massive river card coming up. <laughs> Gotta walk. fade it. Gotta fade a board pair. River is a king of diamonds. No diamonds to go around. And Negrano locks it up. Gets the check mark. Still a big side pot in play here. Massive side pot. Diamonds might slow, slow things down just a tad. But Kaiser can only win the side pot by bluffing. Dnex back in the game. Yeah, huge triple up here for Daniel. All right, giveaway coming up after this hand. Negrano is still in the game. <coughs> Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can interact with us in the chat and enter the giveaway. I know the chat loves this one. I mean, they're going off already. Oh, yeah. They love it. Absolutely love to see it. Deservingly so. <coughs> Daniel just sitting there oh, anxiously waiting. Oh, wow. Oh, Jeez. Kaiser moves all in. Oh, my. <laughs> He's been drawing dead from the turn. And he just puts two million in the middle. Drawing stone dead. Lee has the best hand with a set. But look at all the straight possibilities. Look at the flush possibilities. And you can see by the look in his eyes that this is not what he was looking for. What a play. This is crazy. And we're going to see a showdown no matter what. Donnie, this could have been a spot where Kaiser gets Lee to fold the best hands, which allows Negrano to double up. In this case, of course, Negrano has the best hand. But just think about the implications here. This is crazy. There's, a, there's two million this way. I mean, Kaiser obviously knows that Lee doesn't have the nut flush because he didn't snap him off. Okay, so. And but Lee's thinking about it here. Wow. Lee is deciding for his tournament life wow. and lets it go. Green hmm? Yeah, I had all that stuff. Oh, my awesome. God. <coughs> what a hand. Lee one, I'll take folds the good. winner for a two million chip kidding. side pot. I mean, you can just I look at Lee right now. What, oh, yeah. what just happened? What did I do? <laughs> and Kaiser just casually <laughs> announces <laughs> Queen Jack, two, two pair. pair. No big deal. No big deal. <sighs> Negrano is back in the mix. Still only 10 bigs, but hey, a Plenty. big blind is a big blind. 
Players are going on a five minute break. Ladies and gentlemen, get your drinks ready. We'll be back in just a minute and we'll, we'll do a giveaway first hand after the break. Daniel Grano with the big triple up, 10 big blinds. Plenty to work with for this gentleman. Ronald Kaiser is our chip leader with 5 million chips, completely crushing everyone right now. Don't go anywhere. We will be back in five minutes. Take your game to the next level with GTO Wizard, the number one app for poker players. Start crashing at gtowizard.com. Final right. table. That's the way to not play today. Guys, Especially hard this grasses. one, no sleep. Tomorrow is good. Kaiser has backdoor clubs and spades. He'd be like, wow, that's so spot on. You're such an expert at PLO. And I'd be like, well, thank you. I know. Speaking of clubs, here they come. Clubs on the turn. Well, plays online, Dylan Wiseman as cookies. I love cookies. I love cookies. Wiseman's hand still best here. It is, but what a, a tricky board. So many straights available. If he does bet, tens up, tens and deuces. Uncertain if it's really necessarily for value. You win. There we go. Both players content to get the showdown. Based on your stack size, like absurd. I was playing, I was calling PLO almost always at my table. Then Ben Lamb shows up, doubles up on my left. Eh, we're playing limit hold'em. <laughs> you know, switch like it's always a. And if you get short. Play some high-low regular. So much in detailed strategy. Blinds are up to 15K, 30K, 30K big blind ante. Oh, now there's only 320 big oh. blinds on the table. 30. Big jump. Oh, oh real. Two hour long levels? Two and a half. Da, 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 da. Set of jacks for Negreanu, ace high flush draw along with the open ender for Radanov. Oh my. Uh, let's carefully watch I started just under how Negreanu navigates this extremely draw heavy board despite having top set. He also has a six in his hand, which is probably annoying when there's a six on the board. Fewer full house outs if needed along the way. Hot. Ronnie says, let's dance. And is it enough of a hand for Rodinov to get it in? No, he will just call by the looks of it here, Jeff. I have to imagine all that money goes in. For like 250 Three hops on any turn. A little more, 320. Maybe the case, Jack, we can still find a fold. 320. The ground is hand still best. And King Queen is good. Now we I'm will dance. Nice. Is there a lot of outs. So Rodnov about yeah. a two to one <laughs> underdog <laughs> here. Yeah, I understand. I didn't think I was either. You, you see the 14 ounce on top of your screen looking for a heart, a king, or an eight. I got all that the board. I got all the pairs. The six That's good, hearts. right? The more pairs, the merrier. <laughs> He's like, I don't know about that. <laughs> There's no deuce of clubs anywhere. I haven't seen a deuce of clubs. Maybe it's not too bad. 1.6 million in this pot. Rodinoff's tournament life on the line. Deuce of diamonds. And the river is the deuce of diamonds. A blank river means Damian Rodinov is out in fifth for $61,600. Good luck. Wiseman won the 25K mm -hmm. PLO last year <laughs> at the USPF. We'll see about that. <laughs> That was a bluff. This is one of the highlights <laughs> of his career. <laughs> Still got it. Well, if I ever do want to learn how to play PLO, I'm going to talk to. Is it? I don't even know. Both of us, Dylan and me. Yeah. It's and one more. Yeah. 30, 30, 5K more. It's like 2.3. Yeah, about 2.3 is correct. I'll get my free lessons from Negrano, <laughs> and I'll have to pay yeah. for Dylan. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Take your game to the next level with GTO Wizard, the number one app for poker players. Start crashing at gtowizard.com. Welcome back to the PokerGo studio. The action is hot and heavy in event number four of the 2023 U.S. Poker Open. It's a 10K, no limit hold and buy-in, and Mr. Daniel Negreanu has just tripled up again. He is still the short stack, but hey, anything can happen in the great game of Pot Limit Omaha. Ronald Kaiser is our chip leader with 101 big blinds after pulling off a massive bluff on the final hand before break. Alan Lee and Dylan Wiseman are tied with 40 big blinds apiece. Here's a look at some of the numbers. First place, $200,000 and two extra bills. Average stack, 2.4 million. Negron is still going to need some help, but hey, he is still in the game. Giveaway happening right now. The question for the giveaway. And I'm eating a sandwich right now, so we're, we're going to keep it sandwich specific. <laughs> if you are a, re a regular viewer of the Donnie and Remco YouTube streams, you know that sometimes we get a little crazy. But, we um, love our food. We love our food indeed. Um, describe me, describe your favorite sandwich in the chat. I'll pick one random submission in the next few minutes, and I'll give you an annual subscription to PokerGo. You have to be a subscriber of the channel, and you have to like the video. I will pick one sandwich lover from the chat to give you an annual subscription. Here's Lee going up against Wiseman. Check. Sorry, uh, Kaiser. Kaiser with the Kings. Check. Lee with Ace King. Top pair, top kicker right away. Oh, seeing so many good sandwiches. By the way, I'm having a turkey sandwich. <coughs> it's pretty good. On a, on a little Italian roll. Kaiser betting with Kings. Lee now also picking up a flush draw. We just had a four minute break and I finished half a sandwich in four minutes. I feel like I've let myself down. <laughs> Lee with the check mark here. <coughs> Kings. So many sandwiches in the chat. Love Kings? to see it. Yeah. Lee read the opponent, the hand of his opponent. Correct. Kings? Question mark. Yes, indeed. And Lee takes this one down. <coughs> Patty says, "Anything made for me by someone else." <laughs> Simple man. Seeing lots of PB and J, grilled cheeses. I love how Vincent gets very specific. Roasted turkey, bacon, American cheese, pickle. He had a bunch more, but the chat's going so fast, I can't even keep up. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're going to hit 2,000 likes on the video already. Great to see. And good on you guys for sticking around during the break, because we lost about 2,000 viewers that are now not part of the giveaway. So, hey, any edge Losers. you can get. Losers. Any, any edge you can get. John Smith says, roast beef, just the meat, <coughs> Phil Helmuth style. <laughs> I mean. And he pulled the buns apart. The most famous words ever spoken on a poker live stream. Kaiser limps from the small blind. Negranu huh? makes it 150 with the old King 10 9 8. Of course, looking a lot better than 10 5 5 3. I let you know. <coughs> yeah, I figured your hand must not be that good. You can have Ace Ace, King Jack, or nothing. Negrano wins one again. My hand was good. That's that's fair. Some reflexes. I <laughs> didn't know that's a bad hand to have, yeah. Your pair was good. I had no riding on the pair. She <laughs> pulled the back guy off the best hand. Jason Manley says, simple. Lightly toast a few pieces of Texas toast, make some bacon, put crunchy peanut butter on the side, creamy peanut butter on the side, heat the bacon, and we'll sort of melt the PBJ. Wow, this guy is really on it. Event number five, 10K PLO or No Limit Hold'em. Chris Mormon in the mix. Nacho Barbero, the year of Nacho. The year of Nacho. A new sweater again. Nacho is our current clubhouse leader in the race for the 2023 USPO title. Ren Lin, Joey Wiseman, Sam Soverall, and Justin Young also near the top of the standings. Today's winner will get 200 points. If Negrano wins, he will jump into the top five. We got 10 total events at the USPO. If you're just watching for the first time this week, we're streaming live every single day. 
until Saturday. Take Sunday off. Come back Monday and Tuesday to close it out. Lots of ham and cheese sandwiches being thrown into the chat. After this upcoming hand, I will announce the winner. Final chance. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Let us know in the chat what your favorite sandwich is. <coughs> We're just having some fun here. Those are the chips in play. 5K, 25K, and 100K. The price of poker goes up every 40 minutes. Ace, Jack, Jack, 8 for Kaiser. Pretty nice looking hand. <laughs> Good vibes, Donnie, in event number five. It's super loud in the background there. Uh, yeah. Hold on a pair. Yeah, everybody's folding pairs. Like what, you guys, what kind of game y'all playing? That's a better get serious pairs. later. That's a better pair. Yeah. It's hard to get a pair. You guys fold pairs that you start with. <laughs> Crazy. Flying in with these sandwich guesses. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people love their sandwiches. What can I say? Oh, Cuban. I see Cuban. I haven't had a Cuban in a long time. Cuban's been mentioned a lot. I've seen a lot of Cubans. I've seen a lot of Rubens. <coughs> Ace is here for Wiseman. That's what's often referred to as the Ace Burgers. Is a, is a burger a sandwich? I have no idea. I don't think so. Burger's a burger. My girlfriend always gives me crap <coughs> when I say... Well, sh actually, I give her crap. She says that unless you put a second slice of bread on top, it is not a sandwich. And I'm like, that's just ridiculous. If I put peanut butter and jelly on one slice of bread, it's a sandwich. A PB and J. I would, I would, <laughs> the I would say that is not a sandwich. The, the, the qualifier is the bread. It's not the second slice. Uh, you got to sandwich it that's between terrible. two things, no, man. No, that's ridiculous. What are you talking about? Bread with toppings is a sandwich. Because like, what if you what if you fold the one slice? I'll make it easy. I'll just it, come get it. Oh my God! You Americans are so dumb. <laughs> as long as it's bread with toppings, we're talking sandwiches. Meanwhile, Kaiser with nines so eights, right? makes it 150. <laughs> Open face sandwich. Producing a Aiden's gonna have a freaking aneurysm up there. <laughs> with he's, gonna, he's gonna give you an elbow from the top row pretty soon. He might disconnect <laughs> us. He might disconnect Just us. Pulls the plug. <laughs> I think my favorite sandwich is is an egg sandwich. Egg salad. Egg sandwich. Like a Just breakfast sandwich. What else is on there? Ideally, egg, like mashed avocado. Oh. Fancy. You got the extra money for that avocado? Yeah, I don't care. Whatever. We're going broke over here. We don't matter. <laughs> Inflation's through the roof. I mean, we still spend it. <laughs> it don't matter. Geyser picks up a flush draw here. I think my peanut butter and banana, which you had a twist on that you talked yeah. about yesterday, I think that's also up there for me. In the air fryer. I don't know what my, what, what my third is. But those, those are my top two right there. <coughs> Wiseman just... Let's go of the oh, aces as Kaiser keeps applying the pressure up to 5.5 million. All right, I'm going to keep my word here and pick a winner for our giveaway. Ooh. Here we go. Hope you're ready, chat. A free year of Poker Go. Mike Carlucci. Mike Carlucci, congratulations. Send an email to social at pokergo.com. Include a screenshot of you logged into your YouTube account, and I'll hit you up. I'll get you a code for the annual subscription. Please know mm -hmm. that we have a bit of a sale going on. Use promo code DREAMSEAT when subscribing to PokerGo on the annual plan to save $20. And you're also entered into our raffle to win a seat in our million dollar nope. free roll at time. the end of the year. <laughs> million, we're giving away a million dollars. You're basically, you know, $79.99 once you use the promo code DREAMSEAT. That's your raffle ticket. You get to watch World Series of Poker all summer. You get high stakes poker and no gamble in the future weekly. You would bet no matter what. An incredible deal. Arguably our best ever. Yes. I know this man. He's a better. Good strategy. Yeah. Negrano here with top set. Kaiser has one club to block, but Negrano makes a full house. 
and he won't be worried about whatever Kaiser has. McGraw trying to chip up Should here. Put and it he all in. Nine nine four 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 nine nine nine. Damn. Nothing. <coughs> I flopped the flush. Yeah, right. <laughs> what? <laughs> he flopped a flush. Negreanu still in the mix here. We're four-handed at the 2023 USPO. And here's a look at Negreanu's last five years in action. Man, I know this guy pays a lot of money to play in these big events, but also he backs it up with the big cash. It's 4.5 million in 2018, 2.2 .2 in 2019. Then of course, 2021, 3.1. And this past year, 4.7 million. Negreanu always very open and honest about his buy-ins, but he's been marking a profit every single year. Kaiser keeps keeps up with his role as the table captain, raises it up. Negroni continues to serenade the qualifier. <laughs> yeah, barely. It's, you know, it's like on the fence here. Tukon Sam asking, you know is this really live? I'm play no, ick, ick em, it's ick not em. live at all. Doing ick em. Uh, we're in the future. Every, we're time, in the future. We're every in the future. time we live stream, we get in here and everyone is like, is this live? Queen high good? Well, I don't understand. Uh, yeah, it's uh, live. All right, double suited. <laughs> Was queen, I had, because I had queen high. I checked check high, but something. I had you destroyed then. You had all right. check high. I had you crushed, because I had a jack I, too. Uh, two suits. Oh, never mind. Yeah. At all right. And you ref love, I, I win. I had two spades. Yeah. What am I folding for? Too nitty. Too nitty. Can everybody in the chat please ask if this is live? <laughs> if everyone asks. Yeah, everybody all at once. <laughs> Let's go. All at once. Is this live? <laughs> <laughs> Guys are raising it up again with ace jack 10 8. Negrano with a nice little rundown here. Queen jack 9 8. Only one suit, but still. Quite some <laughs> possibilities. <laughs> God, we I love the chat. It's great. It's so great. Wow. Is this live? See a flop. See a flop. <laughs> it's the only way you can triple up. Negranu makes in. the call on the button. Quad up. I don't think we're going to get people in. No, <laughs> you don't think they're coming? No. <laughs> Hence your, so you must have shit then. No, I, okay. got, I got super good. If I don't That's why anything, I'll just fold. I won't even. I won't yeah. even mess with it. I won't even check. Can I, s can I know yours? A one, two, what do I got? 450. I'm going to let some people in on an industry secret. All poker live streams I'm there's no way are I'm on a delay. I believe not even That's just, <laughs> that's that's just a, a law. I am definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting situation here as Negrano and Kaiser battle on this Queen 10 deuce flop. Raise. <laughs> are you sure? In your face. Oh, shit. Here we go. No. I don't either. Okay. Five, all in. All right, Negrano is all in and at risk. Kaiser has nine outs twice. Negrano close to being up to 1.4 million like again. Deuce, no, deuce three. No, yeah, that's fine. Because deuce, deuce, you win. What? Uh, Never mind, I don't know what I'm yeah, That's about. actually true. Yeah. <laughs> deuce, deuce is, your, is one of your outs. And now I feel like it's going to be deuce, deuce. No. Do you, you want to like chop a, it? Chop it, sure. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> On a nine. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, no, on a nine, you chop. What, a eight? A nine is a chop? Yeah, nine with, is a chop. Uh, Jack eight. Rano has ace, king, Jack eight. ten, right? Ace, ace king, ten. ten, or juice, juice. Turn card. Is a ten. That's, That's a, a bad card. Very card. That That's is not good for me. Terrible for <laughs> Negrano. <laughs> How can you win now? Uh, what a two brutal turn or card. King, right? Nine or king, right? Not well, you've got lucky. I'm going to you. No, no king. King is also me. Oh, king is you? Queen. You can win with a nine. King is you because you have ace jack. Queen or nine, that's, that's, that's not a lot out. Uh oh. Yeah. Negrano eliminated in fourth place. PG. Wow. He was two cards away from an epic comeback, and all of a sudden he's on the rail. Daniel Negrano collects seventy-seven thousand dollars. True. One point three. You're a folded free fall? Damn, I'm kidding. Like <laughs> what? That was a joke. Oh, I was confused. It's. Sarcasm is sometimes hard to get. Yeah, <laughs> English isn't my first language. Have to. Ronald Kaiser keeps stacking him up as Negranu heads on over to event number five. For the Negranu fans that 
are not sticking around. Come back tomorrow in case you don't want to watch the conclusion of this PLO event. We have more live streaming, 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern. The action is daily here from the Pokego studio in Las Vegas. Three-way battle here. Kaiser with a commanding lead as we look back at Negranu just standing up and shoving it in Kaiser's face. But things did not work out as he had hoped. Got it in with the best of it, but that did not matter as PLO shows no mercy on Negranu. Only the hardcores will stick around. We know that. That's how it goes. Negranu has a lot of fans. We don't mind. You've watched it up until this point. Yeah. Don't you want to see it through? I, that's what I feel like. <laughs> <coughs> you come to watch Negranu. You probably learned how to play Potlum in Omaha. Exactly. Might as well see it through to the end. These are three of the best Potlum in Omaha players in the world. That is also true. Yeah, exactly right. Wiseman with the best of it versus Kaiser. Maybe we'll do another giveaway if you stick around. But guess what? If you leave, you won't know. <laughs> <laughs> Negrano, by the way, <laughs> picked up quite a few points, but still, is, is he in the top 10 now, Donnie? Can you give us some verification on that? In the USPO? Yes. He is not in the top 10. Wow. Tough. He is 16th currently, but that could change based on these remaining results. Negrano, of course, going to hop into event number five, a 10K No Limit Hold'em event, which is currently underway. You can follow live reporting, live updates of that event on pg.com. Six, five, four. It's King King. L Star asking, could playing PLO hurt your Hold'em game over time? Well, if you forget what game you're playing, maybe. Otherwise, I would say that it's good to be well-rounded. It helps to know all the games. From my perspective, I think every player should at least know how to play all the games. It just helps your mind to think about things in a different way. As Dylan Wiseman, is he drinking a margarita? <laughs> I mean... All of a sudden, I'm a bigger Dylan Wiseman fan if that is actually a margarita. If it is a green tea disguised as a margarita, then he's going to lose some points. Kaiser with a massive chip lead. Still, of course, anyone's game here. Who? Look, oh, by the way, let me ask you this. We have lots of Negrano fans in the chat still hanging around, wanting to watch us till the end. Let us know who you're watching. Who are you rooting for now? Kaiser, of course, pulled off that massive bluff. He's been bossing around the table. But maybe we have some picked up some Wiseman fans, some Lee fans along the way. Let us know who you're supporting right now. See Kaiser and Wiseman go to a flop again. These two have tangled quite a bit today. Ace Jack Six, top pair for the Dutchman. Ten on the turn, giving Dylan Wiseman a Broadway straight. Kaiser does have backdoor clubs working for him. <coughs> Nine on the river. That's a check mark for Mr. Wiseman. Might be hard for him to extract some value here, given Kaiser's hand. He pots it. Quick fold from Kaiser. <coughs> Lee.
Lee and Wiseman now jockeying for position. Kaiser well out in front, 115 big blinds. Limped bot here, Lee on the button. <coughs> Kaiser checked his option in the big blind. Bet 75. Quick, quick check, bet fold. Blinds only 25,000, 50,000, so all these players are still pretty deep. Wiseman's the shortest stack, still 36 big blinds, plenty to work with. <coughs> True Gangsta asking, or saying, it'd be awesome <coughs> if all players said, cool, Daniel's gone, want to run the rest of the tournament as Texas No Limit. Well, no, quite, th high low. quite the opposite. <laughs> These guys are PLO specialists. By the way, Alan Lee's just breaking out a really cool Nike hat. I think I kind of want that hat. Still lots of, lots of Dutch fans <coughs> rooting for a Kaiser in the chat. Great to see. Why don't you speak some Dutch to them? Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to put off our American viewers. Wow. We're a bunch of idiots. We won't know what's happening anyway. <laughs> People are making up songs in the chat. Yeah. I like it. Like a little little poetry going on. <coughs> a little jingle. Check. Meanwhile, 775 in the middle. After Wiseman conti continued on the flop for 200K, Lee made the call. Action now back on Wiseman on the turn. Wiseman with the best of it. Jack on the river completes the board and turns the tables on this hand. Lee makes Broadway straight. The nuts, in case anyone is keeping score. Wiseman asking for a count of the pot, that is. <coughs> Five Betting into the nuts doesn't often go well. <laughs> this seems like an option for Lee to go all in. Has 1.7 million behind right now. Charlie watching from the UK. Let us know where you're watching from. I know we have lots of Dutchies, but I'm pretty sure we're well covered again on the entire planet. There is the check raise. 1.1 million. Weissman with a quick fold. Betting himself into trouble here as he just okay. kicks over that a stack of chips. Yeah, heading I, would, I would knock it over too. <laughs> heading in Lee's direction. All right.
let's listen to those tunes as Dylan Weissman is now our short stack. If you think you know poker, check out play.pgt.com right now. Make free picks to win real prizes. We have daily contests running on play.pgt.com. Go check it out while you're watching the stream. Just a little bit, little, little bit of fun to do alongside all this poker action. Yeah, giving away a couple hundred dollars in gift cards. Play.pgt.com. Totally free. Wiseman down to 19 big blinds. Lee sitting on 60, and Kaiser still our king with 113 big blinds. Jeremy asked, what is the next event tomorrow? 10K, no limit hold them. We'll be back for another final table, Remco and myself. Is that two cards? Two cards. Two cards, okay. We, we might be a bit confused, but we'll figure it out, you know. That'll be the last 10K of this series. After that 10K, we got two 15Ks, two 25Ks, and then the $50,000 finale all this week and into the beginning of next week. We're going to be here every day on YouTube, baby. 68 players so far in our 10K No Limit Hold'em today. Registration still open for quite a while in that event. Negranu hopped straight into the 10K. Of course he did. Of course he did. You know who's in there? Ed Sebesta. That's right. The legend. Ed the best, baby. Option Slayer said, is PGT real cash? Yeah, these are real cash tournaments. Come to Las Vegas. If you have the money for this tournament or the one that's going on out there right now, the 10K No Limit Hold'em, $10,000 buy-in. Yep. Real money. This tournament, $200,000 up top. People often think that events in here are, you know, invite only, but no. You can just walk right on in here, put your money down, and get, a, right. get a seat. All in is the move from Wiseman here. Interesting spot here. Lee gives it up. Weissman fighting back. Here's a look at Dylan Wiseman, last year's U.S. Poker Open. First in the 25K PLO for a whopping $416,000. Sixth in the 15K PLO, uh, fifth in the 10K big, big Bet Mix, and fifth again in the 10K PLO. Very impressive stretch for him, but it wasn't enough to take the overall crown. to kick it up, makes it 150k to go. Wise and seeing how, just how much he has left, makes the call. on the flop, two clubs. Kai's just got the best of it, flops top two. Not much working for Wiseman. Two hundred K from Kaiser gets it done. <coughs> looks Wiseman gets shorter. Looks like Wiseman topped up his margarita though. <laughs> That's all that matters. The shorter you get, the more you need to top up the, the drinks, you know? I don't think I've ever drank a margarita at the poker table. <coughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, 
I've like had like a glass of wine or maybe a beer every now and then. Anyone in the chat coming out for World Series of Poker? <coughs> it's uh, coming up on April, which means that we're only two months away from it's gonna be here before we know it. the world's greatest series of tournaments, and we're going to stream lots of those events on Poker Go, also putting some events on YouTube. I can't wait for WSOP. You going to play some events, Donnie? I'm going to try. I mean, I know we've got a lot cooking in terms of the content we're going to be providing or at least want to provide so see if i can fit some stuff in there here and there you know 100k, 100K high roller to kick yeah, it off you know I'll, yeah i'll well i'll probably start with that first 25k high roller yep and then maybe i'll play the 25k heads up to, you know, in all seriousness i'm more of like a colossus type of guy <laughs> 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 mini main event that's my jam cash that baby two years in a row that's my tournament A lot of fun ones this year on the WSB schedule. They got that million dollar bounty. They moved it up to the front of the WSB schedule this year. That's going to be bananas. <laughs> Not only do they have that million dollar bounty prize that's guaranteed, they have a gu they guaranteed first place as a million. That's just wild. F to that's me, like, control. the million dollar bounty, it almost seems unnecessary. <laughs> it's like, wh why does it need to be that big? Just, you know, 500K would have been just fine. Because it's cool. Yeah. A million dollars new this year that gladiators of poker yep three hundred dollar buy-in that's gonna be massive i mean if you don't have a big bankroll you can't afford some of the bigger buy-in events get in a flight of the gladiators of poker chase your bracelet let's go that's the whole reason why poker is so great there's something for everyone as oh. kaiser and lee are tangling here with 850 <coughs> in the middle already kaiser Made it 150 before the flop. Lee defended from the big blind. Kaiser continued for 250 on the flop. Lee called, and then Kaiser once again pushed the action with 850 on the turn, and that was enough to take it down. Extending his lead to up to 6.3 million. This guy is just in total control. The guy's a crusher. As, as, as you guys saw in that hand right there, he can really put a lot of pressure on Alan Lee, given the situation with Wiseman being a bit shorter. Plus Wiseman hovering just yeah. above 20 big blinds. <coughs> 20 whole big blinds. That's right. That's what I just said. That's hilarious. Kevin Del Rio says best drink at the poker table. That's exactly what I was thinking of, but I didn't I didn't want to ask you you guys in the chat, but <laughs> let's just do it. What's the best drink to have at the poker table? I'm going to say I mean maybe I'm um I'm wrong here, but I I like a, I like a, gl a glass of red wine while I'm playing poker. And not, you know, not one of those by the way, if you're listening South Point, I don't want one of those small little glasses with the styrofoam around it. <laughs> I want a wine glass. I want an actual wine yeah. glass. Knowing you, Donnie, it's probably tequila shots. Um, I mean, I can't tell you the last time I drank at the poker table, so I don't know. I think probably just a beer. Yeah, b beer is classic. <coughs> I feel like also, you know, a beer is kind of like a a community drink in that like you're at the poker table you order a beer likely someone else is going to order a beer you know people are ordering beers like that's how it is Nick Purdy says whiskey neat <coughs> from the school of Justin Young that's right <laughs> my lights is a bottle of scotch uh, I don't know I don't know what game you're in but that sounds like a lot of fun you have three sacks of uh Pink? Yeah. Of high society. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Indeed. Yeah, I think starting with 2.2. Lee's only okay. shown two cards to our readers so far. 
Pot. Kaiser with the pot re raise. <laughs> Makes it 4.75 to go. Lee looking over at Wiseman's stack, of course, aware of the ICM implications. He has ace, king, queen, four with one suit. Oh, and Lee comes back over the top, tired of Kaiser messing with him. How much is it? 1.425. Wow, just Donnie, just snap call. Just snap call to see a flop. <laughs> Kaiser does not waste any time. This guy plays fast. This guy plays aggressive. This is a lot of fun to watch. Like 50? Double suited, bit of a rundown with the 987. Wow. Has one king to block two kings. You know, of course, Lee could have two aces here, but Kaiser probably knows enough about this spot that he's got just enough equity to be able to continue. And of course, Ace he doesn't have to put it all in pre-flop. Yeah. He can Ace see the flop first three cards and go from there. <laughs> Lee only has 800k <laughs> behind. Huge flop coming up right now. Jack 5-4 rolls off the deck. Not flush draw for Lee. That is exactly what he was hoping for. Something to get it in with. There it is. He moves all in. Just about. I'm not happy, but probably I need to go for it. Go for the six. Yeah. The six and the Why? back backdoor spades <laughs> makes the call. Four point five million <laughs> in the middle. Only nine outs for Kaiser. Nine outs twice though. I only have a four. Oh, that's more outs with hearts. A six, a nine, six. eight, or a seven. He kind of deserved this one after uh, the last tournament. Wow. All right. Kaiser is not here to fold. Uh, What an aggressive play. Let's see if it pays That's off for card. him. Not a good card for Kaiser. Now only three outs. That gut shot straight is the only thing left for him to hit. River card. It is the three of spades, and Alan Lee receives a massive double up. Dylan Wiseman must be feeling really lonely in the corner here as the only player with a short stack. Eight, ten. Wow. Eight, ten. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What a massive pot. Didn't want to do it. Huge Had pot. Yeah, that's, I like it. <sighs> of course you like it. <laughs> Dylan Wiseman, of course. He wanted the six. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was rooting for that six so hard. Here's a look at our U.S. Poker Open event for chip counts presented by Global Poker. Alan Lee in the lead now with 91 big blinds. Ronald Kaiser from the Netherlands, 81 bigs. And Dylan Wiseman, 19 big blinds, but still in the mix. We lost Daniel Negreanu earlier. Damian Radonov finished in fifth place. But these three gentlemen are battling for the top prize and the points. 200K up for grabs. And Negranu, who just busted, already has hopped into event number five. He is full on chasing the points for the USPO championship. back to a more casual style of play. Arriving on the river with 300k in the middle. Lee once again with the best of it. Inject in.
Allen Lee started the day with 2.3 million now up to 4.7 and in a commanding chip position one of those small gold eagle trophies awaits the winner of today's event but of course the overall winner of the USPL will receive the big 60 pound one Lee, of course, gladly making it the heads-up play versus Kaiser if Wiseman does not manage to make a comeback here. But still, 19 big blinds in PLO doesn't really feel like the danger zone just yet. Seven behind. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Thank you. King 9-4, Rainbow rolls off the deck. Backdoor flush draw for Wiseman to go along with his top pair. I got ace ten or four. Ace ten. Okay. Or diamonds. Yeah. Not sure about free flop for me. It was really close. Up seventeen. Massive spot here. Wiseman at risk with the best of it, but hey, hmm. we've seen this game before. Anything can happen in Pot Limit Omaha. Prayer hands for Wiseman, hoping that his hand I doubles like up. You do like that. Diamond like on the turn. Two pair for Wiseman, but it is a diamond. Play 13 me. outs need, for Kaiser. Why do you like that? You can get the king of diamonds. River card. Oh, question mark? Let's yeah. see if <laughs> Wiseman can double up here. Anybody else? Question mark? River card is the queen of clubs. What and Dylan Wiseman doubles up to 1.9 million. Kaiser was sitting on well over six million not too long ago and is now down to three million. That's it. And it's anyone's game. They're swinging big now, that's for sure. Kaiser is not holding back. And it's resulted in doubling up both of his opponents. A little prayer for Dylan Wiseman as he holds. Thank you, Luis. Hundred K guarantee for the final three players. What a cockroach do. <laughs> Before the flop? Yeah. I wasn't sure. But did you have King Queen eight five, eight high suit? I legitimately don't know. I think it's close. King Queen is very good off seventy five million. I think it's a call. But I think it is. Uh, These guys, of course, the best of the best. I can try arguing anything, but they know better than I do. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. I mean, it's just. Pecker1981 asked, where did Daniel finish? Fourth place. Just busted out. Was it 77K that he took home? He did. His second cash of the series, his 12th cash overall on the Poker Grow Tour this season. He's already out there in event number five, battling 10K, Nolan and Hold'em. You guys can follow updates of that event on pgt.com. How long is this series going on for? Till next Tuesday. This is event number four that everyone is watching, 10K PLO. Event number five is running on the outer tables. There are 10 events total 
at the 2023 U.S. Poker Open. And it'll all culminate with that $50,000 finale. All the events, all the final tables live streamed right here on the Poker Go YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you are well aware of when we are streaming, when we're going live, when Wemco puts a new video out, all that sort of good stuff. When the next giveaway <laughs> is. That's right. For people in the chat, what's your favorite game of poker? Like, are you guys all just like PLO fans or sticking around to see how this battle unfolds? I just hope that at least one person says that Badoogie is their favorite game. <laughs> Badoogie, Badoogie Badoogie loves some, ba some Badoogie. Badoogie is one of my favorite games. The fields have been good for these events, chat. First two events, up over 100. Largest 10K no limit holdems we've ever had. Really good turnout so far. PGT's rolling on nicely this season. <coughs> Kate's a huge PLO fan. Dan says, no limit holding, baby. The Cadillac. The Cadillac of poker. Easy Money TV, pineapple. As long as it doesn't belong on pizza, <laughs> you can like pineapple all you want. Samuel, we just talked about it. Negranu busted not too long ago in fourth place. If you want to see it, you can rewind the video a little bit. But he went out in fourth place for $77,000. There you go. Diego Leon. Badoogie. Yes, there it is. <laughs> Diego, you're invited. <laughs> you're invited to the next game. Yes, we are covering the WSCP again. We'll have plenty of live streams going on on Poker Go. Four fifty. Four fifty. Kaiser, stand. Really on hope you don't have the queen three, Ronald. <laughs> he only has one point. gear. Queen three. That makes sense. It's the only one that <laughs> felt bad. I hope yeah. you don't have queen three. I have queen three. <laughs> Full house for Kaiser beats the flush of Dylan Wiseman. Buttons gonna move. A lot of those the chips that one. Wiseman just picked up in the double up head back over to Kaiser. Seven card, no peak, midnight baseball. That sounds made up. Vlad's asking, who do you have your money on to win it all? Well, I love the way Ronald Kaiser plays. Very volatile style. I think the way he applies pressure is really going to keep putting his opponents into tough spots. So I'm going to go with Kaiser. I think he uh, he's going to get back on top. Seven card stud streams that we did during the WSOP. <laughs> I don't. There's so much to look at. I don't. So I, many. I don't. I don't miss those streams. So many cards <laughs> flying around the table. What do you think the longest stream is that we're gonna do this time around? Oh, it's probably gonna be seven card stud. No, well, like how many hours do you oh. think will be? Um, fourteen hours. Fourteen hours. I'm calling in sick that day. <laughs> I'm calling in sick. I'm not showing up. If we cover the ten, and if I'm there, I'm gonna all of a sudden get sick and go home. If if <laughs> if that event is on our schedule, fourteen hours. Ten, are you insane? The ten K stud, eight or better, Donnie. 
that's for sure going to go super <laughs> long. Uh, 10K I know stud eight. I mean, I know the people in the <laughs> chat are going to watch. It's WSOP. People are going to watch whatever it, whatever it on. That's a very true. Is it No Limit Baseball spit in the ocean <laughs> double draw? <laughs> then turn on the TV. Yeah. These guys are making it to the river. A lot more since we've got the three-handed play. 880 in the middle here. Limp pot before the flop between Kaiser and Lee. Kaiser check called 75k, then check called 275. Checks again on the river. Kaiser has the best hand after flopping yeah. a wheel. Or yeah, for sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's got the winner. <laughs> Wait, what is happening? No, it's, 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 it's right. Oh. For a second there, I thought Kaiser was going <laughs> to muck. I thought he mis misread his hand. Falcon Punch has spit in the ocean, double draws my favorite game. There you go. I'll get Jack Eiffel on the phone, trying to put it onto the WSOP schedule. Kaiser enduring some massive swings here, as we can see by the stats of his, l of his last most recent two hands, 10 hands. Pecker is wondering, which tourney last year had a breakfast sandwich run? Let me tell you. I think I gained 20 pounds during the WSOP last year. <laughs> it was snacks on snacks on snacks. Lots of late night pizza. Mori Eskandani bringing lots of pastries to the to the then Bally's now horseshoe. Mm -hmm. I think this year Donnie and I are going to have to make some sort of side wager on what we can and can't eat. I'm just planning on being good this year. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I will be. And then 11 p.m. rolls around. That's true, but I'm going to do my damnedest. <coughs> oh. I need like a mini fridge, and I'm just going <laughs> to fill it with fruit. Oh, my God. You're, you're a big fiber guy. I am a big fiber <laughs> guy. <laughs> but I love fruit as well. I need to make a wager to like that I'm not allowed to eat pizza or something. That, that would already save me. Lee with the best of it checks here from the small blind. We got 690 in the middle. Kaiser made it 210 before the flop. Lee called, Wiseman called, three-way action with some significant chips in the middle. This could get interesting. Wiseman with a straight draw. How much do you have behind? But Wiseman no. doing the betting with the <laughs> yeah. least amount of equity. Exactly. 7%. 805. 805? Yep. Kaiser with the flush draw and the gutty. Only two cards left for that gut shot as Lee and Wiseman both have a seven. Lee, however, he's ready. He's ready to go. Wow, what is Lee going to do? This is very interesting. Three pair for Lee. <coughs> he's got the hearts to go along with it. And... A big straight draw. Lifting his cards up, usually a sign that he's thinking of folding. It's kind of a similar spot to what we saw very early in the final table where Agrani folded a pretty good hand because of the aggression from Kaiser. Here you see Lee decides to go with it, potting it. Wow. That's okay. <coughs> Lee with the aggression and the pressure. Both his opponents fold. And all of a sudden, he's extending his chip lead up to 5.2 million. Kaiser at 3.6. Wiseman back down to 805,000. Only 13 big blinds. <laughs> Lee is in control right now. I had now. a feeling that you guys were messing with. I had everything. Uh, I was not messing at all. <laughs> I, I know, you, but it wasn't. I was messing. It, it was it yeah, wasn't the seven I'll eight. That's all. I, I was the messer. Yeah. I had a good hand to mess with though. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. And he also.
Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. If you're just joining us, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps us a lot. We're streaming live and for free all week long. Let's go. Tenna is asking, who is considered the best what? poker player ever? Is there a GOAT? Yeah, that, is, who that is quite a debate. <laughs> That's quite a can of worms. 625 more. And yep. if you ask Phil Helmy, it's Phil Helmy. I mean, <laughs> if you ask us, I'll say Ivy. I mean, he's up there. Negroni's for sure in the conversation. There's so many ways to interpret that question. Oh, yes. I want to say Ivy, but he's just not been around. What is Phil Ivy doing right now? Phil, if you're watching the stream, please like the video. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Make sure you're subscribed. Thanks, Hit Phil. Hit that notification bell. Phil, if you want to win the <laughs> subscription, stay tuned. We're going to do more giveaways. Phil, you haven't been playing on the PGT, but if you want a Dream Seat, become an annual subscriber. Exactly. <laughs> Imagine if <laughs> Phil Ivey won the Dream Seat. That'd be incredible. I would <laughs> love that. Oh, wait. Double that. 1,045. For all the diehards still with us here, when we hit 2,700 likes, I'm just pulling a random number out of my behind. We're going to do a next giveaway for an annual subscription. 2,700 likes on the video. All right, let's go. <coughs> Jack, Jack, 7, 6 for Wiseman. Back up to a million chips. I always like thinking about who's the most talented poker player of all time because it doesn't really have to be about their whole career. It can just be about their peak or about the way they played at their peak versus the competition. Someone like a Stu Unger was way ahead of his time, was extremely talented, a gifted card player. But greatest of all time is tough because his career was cut short. Queen 9-9. On the flop here, three nines for Lee. Check. Garrett Schultz saying Tom Dwan was way ahead. Correct, Tom Dwan was way ahead of his time. For the people wondering who won the subscription, we got an annual sub for Mike Carlucci, and then earlier Micah Van Hove also won one. Picks this one up with the best of it. Bluff. Mine wasn't a bluff three flop. It's a semi bluff question mark? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> good. I ain't good enough to say pot with. Dylan Wiseman just keeps pronouncing the question mark. I'm not sure if that's necessary. Question mark. Fader Holtz is being mentioned, Chip Reese, Doyle Brunson. Brad Owen, of course, one of the goats. King, King, 7-5 here with the suit for Lee. Probably going to attack that big blind. Pot. Raised pot, playing 30K, 60K. Three hearts for Wiseman, not what he was hoping for. 30. Does make the call. Little does he know. Hearts could get him into a lot of trouble here. Ace, six, eight, two clubs instead. Four twenty in the middle, five ninety five behind.
Oh, wow. Dylan Wiseman goes for it. Nope. He is not in a great spot. He has backdoor Kings hearts, but they're dead. Kings, I can't beat that, though. Lee has Kings with the better hearts. Wiseman does have 11 outs. An 8, a Queen, a 10, or a Deuce, or he will be eliminated in third place and will be down to heads up play. Wow, Dylan Wiseman, the PLO genius, the wizard, on the brink of elimination right here, but still with 31%. Oh Alan Lee's been on a tear in the last All hour queen. or so. Will his tear continue <laughs> and get us down to just two players? Turn card, 10 of That's clubs. Funny. Rolls reverse, and now Lee looking for one of 16 outs. Excuse me? That's like almost half the deck. <laughs> 16 outs so for many. Lee. I'm not even going to name them. Let's just see if it comes off on the river here. Wiseman, look at the fade. 16 cards. Oh, yeah. River is a king. He does not fade. Dylan Wiseman eliminated in third place, and we are down to heads-up play in uh, event number four okay. of the 2023 U.S. Poker Open. $100,000 heading yeah, 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 Dylan Wiseman's way. And we are going to watch some heads up PLO action. Let's see if Ronald Kaiser can overcome a two to one chip deficit. Here are the chip counts presented by Global Poker 6.3 million to 3.3 million. Who you guys got? Is Kaiser going to make a comeback? Let us know in the chat. Don't go anywhere. Action continues with 200K on the line. Take your game to the next level with GTO Wizard, the number one app for poker players. Start crashing at gtowizard.com. Right back here, PokerGo Studio. Action is live. Event number four is down to heads up play, the 10K PLO. We have two specialists going at it. Alan Lee, our chip leader, and Ronald Kaiser from the Netherlands. My name is Rem Karinkema, Jeff Platt, and Brent Hanks are on the call on PokerGo.com. Donnie Peters is alongside me. If you want to become a PokerGo subscriber, right now is the best time to get into the mix. Use promo code DREAMSEAT to save $20 on your annual subscription. And also, you're giving yourself a chance to win a seat into our million dollar free roll at the end of the year. That'll, that alone is worth the subscription. But also, please know, we have new episodes of No Gamble, No Future, High Stakes Poker, and of course, we have the World Series of Poker coming up in just about two months. Until then, lots of new cash game material on Poker Go. 146K guaranteed for these two players. They're playing heads up for $54,000. And of course, that gold eagle trophy that you see in the middle of the table. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that neither one of these players is going to take massive risks. They are here to win, to claim the title, and to add a trophy to their collection. And we're starting off with Lee on the button. King, king, king for Kaiser. Hands are becoming more speculative as we are down to just two players. I'm going to feel even more out of my depth thinking about heads up PLO, <laughs> Donnie. Ronald Kaiser looking for his third win inside the Poker Go studio. Alan Lee looking for his first. Is, is Alan Lee related to Nam Lee? Yeah, I believe they're brothers. Brothers? I, I was going to say Nam that. Nam and Tommy? Tommy, yes. Uh, I was going to say that that family is like the PLO family. They're just the crushers. They are Those the crushers. Are A lot of talent to go around in that family. Nam Lee, of course, one of the OG World Poker Tour crushers. Kaiser bets 140k on the river. His kings are good. <laughs> Little pop quiz for the chat. Who said that? Way back when. 
Kings are good. Yeah, no, Kings are good. You think I have aces? No, kings. you have kings. Kings are good. And Three, kings, 140. once more, kings are good here as well. Kings are good for Ronald Kaiser. Marquise with the first guess, guessing d -Nex. It was not d -Nex who said that. One of my favorite years of the World Series of Poker, where that quote comes from. Do you know, Don? What's that? Who said who said that quote? Kings are kings are good. No. You, th you don't think I have aces? No, you have kings. Kings no. are good. <laughs> wow. No one had no one no one has guessed it yet in the chat. Is it Marcel Luce? Of course, it's Marcel Luce. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was Marcel Luce the way that you just said it to me because <laughs> I knew you were like impersonating Marcel. <laughs> <laughs> that was 04 main event. I believe day five or day six. Oh. Good times. I love rewatching the old WSOP episodes on Poker Go. Eight deuce deuce here on the flop. Kaiser with the flush draw, Lee with the pair. Kaiser gets 300 on the turn here after making his flush. Lee is drawing dead in this one. Has a queen, but that is not the best blocker when the ace and the king are still in play. Wow, Michael Moslovsky with a $5 donation for the coffee fund. Shout out to you, Michael. That way I can tell you're an OG watching our WSOP streams from last year. Boy, did we drink a lot of coffee. Oh, yes. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate it. Straight to the coffee fund. I'm playing on GTO Wizard right now. I just got it right. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, what'd you do? Fold? Six, six deuce <laughs> off. Six <laughs> deuce off on the button. I fold. <laughs> it says best move. 100% score. There you go. Boom. Boom. Two in a row. Two for two. Check out gtowizard.com slash pokergo if you want to try it for free. We also offer a 10% discount on the best way to get better at the game of poker. Set of fives here for Lee. Kaiser with a straight draw. Three diamonds on board already. He's not going to make this hand easy to play. Kaiser just does, does make the call and checks again on the turn when the fourth diamond comes off. Lee continues with his set and picks up, picks up the pot here, extending his chip lead. Just got word from my wife that my kid bit another kid at school. What? <laughs> does that mean you have to look for a new school? I mean, the other kid tried to steal her toy, so oh. I mean... Biting is like the least you can do. That's, that's what I'm that. saying. Yeah. That's what I said to my wife, and she's like, she can't bite. I'm like, well, he can't steal her toys. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. That's this not how this works. I you mean, don't just walk around the classroom stealing toys. Okay? Eventually, someone's going to give you the business, and it just happened to be my daughter. Okay? 180. 180. 
That's hilarious. I mean, this is America. This is going to be a lawsuit, Donnie. You better get ready. You better lawyer up. Ace, queen, six, four. Kaiser raises the button with three hearts. Ace, queen, jack, five in the big blind for Lee. Comes back over the top with the pot size raise. Kaiser lays it down. I'm on a roll. I got five five hands in a row, right. I got a streak. <laughs> I love it. We got new episodes of High Stakes Poker and No Gamble No Future available for you right now on PokerGo.com. And of course, WSB coming up in just two months. Join now or upgrade. Use promo code USPO23 to save $20 on your annual subscription. streak is over. I'm done. There you go. Back to the commentary booth. Yep. The poker career is over. <laughs> ah, big table. Yeah. Very big. Queen nine three for Kaiser. Of course, seeing 180. lots of action before the flop with this heads-up play, but ultimately we're going to have a have to have a clash between two similar hands to really spice this thing up a little bit. Oh, uh, cards, yeah. Thanks to all the new subscribers to our channel today and all the likes on the video. Like I said, I'm going to keep my promise. When we hit 2,700 likes on the video, I'm going to give away one more annual subscription. So if you haven't liked the video just yet, please Get on do in so there. right now. And Lee picks up a Royal Flush draw. I mean, I know it's Omaha, but still, Royal Flush is pretty badass. I want to see the Royal Flush, personally. <laughs> Queen on the turn. Keeps Kaiser in the lead here with his pair of threes. Kaiser bets again after betting 315 on the flop. Now bets 475 on the turn. Lee still with a flush draw. This pot is getting big. Lee burning a time extension here. <coughs> Ooh, cutting out a raise. raise. Wow. Coming with it. Things getting a little spicier here. 1.1 million is the raise. Kaiser thinking about it. But what is he really thinking about? Not much he can do in this situation. Mm. 
Wow, Kaiser even burning a time extension here. <coughs> despite having hardly anything to go on. I mean, even this type of thought process or pausing to think about a hand just shows you how experienced, how skillful these guys are at this game. I mean, Kaiser... I mean, my cards just would have hit the muck. Of like course. 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I mean, Kaiser <laughs> ends up folding, which makes a lot of sense. Good on Lee for picking up on this, trying to apply pressure on the turn before this gets to a river card where things might get even more complicated. Lee, of course, with tons of outs there, oh, raising me. on the turn. Right. Extending his chip lead now up to 7.2 million chips. Just tuning in. 200K on the line here. These guys are playing heads up for $54,000. And Lee has been on a roll in these last five hands. I think ever since he put the hat on, he started winning. He's been crushing. I want the hat, by the way. It looks great. Big gap right now. 75% of the chips in play. Wow. Now he's just got to lean on his opponent a little. <laughs> seal the deal. 2.4 million <laughs> left for Kaiser. 39 big blinds. That is still plenty to work with. But Lee has now won four hands in a row. Seven of the last ten. Back to the flop we go. And Lee once again into the lead, flopping a pair of jacks. Back on the river. Lee once again with the check mark. Check. <coughs> Nines. Yeah. Lee chipping up even further with this small pot going to showdown. Alan Lee right now, all you want to do is wait for that good spot to get it all in with at least at least 40% equity to give yourself a chance to seal the deal here. He's a very deliberate player. Small pot here, L limp before the flop, check, check, 75K call, check again. Deke Acosta in the mix in the chat. What up, Deke? Looking forward to seeing us this summer. Looking forward to see you, man. Time to rock. Let's go. Time to rock. I see you grinding those home games out there. 
He's getting ready. He's getting ready for the WSOP. Got to get ready. We need some excitement in the chat. The WSOP should call a tournament the home game. Yeah, and then what? What's what? What, what's, what is the home game? Don't know yet. I just all right. I just come up with the name. All right, Ch Chad, <laughs> let's play this hypothetical type game. I'm not. I'm not too intrigued by this heads up PLO. Everyone action. has to deal. The, the players have to deal. Oh my god! <laughs> Could you imagine? So, if WSOP announced a tournament called the home game, what would the rules of the tournament be? You guys make it up. And. Let's just say that Nevada Gaming would have to approve of the, of the rules. So what would the home game buy-in be, the format? What are, we, what are we looking at here? Meanwhile, we're looking at we're looking at paint dry a little bit here. This PLO game has been grind to a halt. I really enjoyed three-handed PLO a whole lot better. you imagine if the players were deal? <laughs> well, it would be a disaster. <coughs> Guys, you're getting shorter here. Still operating with 35 bigs, but there's opponent there. 124 big blinds for Alan Lee. That's insane. All right, I'm going to go through the chat here. Ernesto says drugs and booze. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can force that on anyone. Ernesto knows the real home games out there. In Inbar <laughs> says always rabbit hunt. I'm actually in favor of that. Waka Flocka <laughs> says PLO, $50 buy-in, one, two blinds, must drink one beer every hour. I mean, that tournament is going to be a mess. <laughs> I've seen there's some strip poker mentions. Don't think that's going to fly. Oh, Vegas is 21 and over. Why, why not? That's actually... That's actually Please. true. Ravens, Ravens Wolves says traditional five card. Like five card draw? Yeah, I think so. Okay. It's kind of a nice game, actually. It's kind of a hard game to play. Everyone deals. you got to play with those oh. plastic chips from Walmart. <laughs> 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 the, the ones that interlock. <laughs> Julio says if you win a hand with seven deuce, the rest of the table takes a shot. Yes, I'm all in favor of that. That's great. It's like two million. It's like two million. Two the million, tables yeah, are all those them. round tables. It's with the turn. chips like in the rail. No, no, it's it's <laughs> it's just tables from the cafeteria with a little with a little felt on top. One of those fold felts. Yeah, bring your own tabletop. Yeah, that's, that's how it is. <coughs> Deuce is wild. I mean, for sure. It, probably Joker's wild. If we're being honest. Absolutely. Like some kind of mixed game where blind man's bluff is part of the rotation. I just picture like you know the rounder scene when they go to that that like trust fund house. Oh yeah. He's like the game's Chicago, high spade and the hole wins half the pot. Like you, you know you just get the cards, you pick the game, table's got to play it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You make it up. If you if you can deal it, you, we can play it. <laughs> That's right. Suicide like Kings and One-Eyed Jacks Wild. I'm in. Okay. I'm I in. like it. That sounds <laughs> awesome. I should know what I have. We love you too, Lur. We haven't even been going that long. We've only been going for three hours and 15 minutes. And we're in WSOP form. Timo says, AC Ducey should be in the Winter Olympics. <laughs> what? That's hilarious. Uh, if, if poker ever became an Olympic sport, it would definitely be in the Winter Games. Then we got, we got WSOP in the summer, <laughs> and we got the Olympics in the winter. <laughs> That's great. Ace is here for Kaiser. Let's pay attention for just a second here before we get back to the nonsense. I got another great question for the chat. Pot size raised yeah. from Kaiser with kings. Lee with only king eight six five. If Lee's king was suited, maybe he would want to mess a little bit with him, but he seems to be a little rich. But what do I what do I know? Call. What do I know? He's just gonna call. Yeah. I mean it's like is anyone folding and heads up PLO? Like I I mean 
Yeah, what, like, what, they should <laughs> just run the board. Just run the board. <laughs> like every hand is one wrong, one five bigs three, each, one. and we just run a bunch Four, of boards. One, That'd be five. fun to watch. Kaiser here with a big lead heading into the flop. Four, four, four. Don't let Negrano see it. 99.9% .9 equity. <laughs> That's insane. <clears throat> Chat, let, let me know. What, what are the outs that Lee has? Turn and river. He has 0.1%. He has to hit perfect, perfect. Can you guys spot it? Meanwhile, Kaiser bets 150K. I mean, John B, yes, but you got to be a little more specific. There it is. <laughs> Plow nut, got it. Plow nut. Is that a four cart donut? <laughs> <laughs> It's a boring flop. I like it, but boring. So you know, back to my nonsense in the chat. You know, in the Olympics, that. you have to like qualify to be in the Olympics. Yeah. When it goes by country. Yeah. How? So they announced poker is now part of the Winter Olympics. It's yeah. going to be. Whatever. Who are we sending? A few, a few events where you can win medals. Maybe like, maybe uh, one event per ADF. form of poker, ADF. and then a mixed game event, Man. and then you know, like, like a main five. event. How do we determine who goes? I mean. I think you have to. And send how many? How many per country? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Phil Hamid is going to have to go for America. End this game. He'll I have a cheeseburger <laughs> in one hand, <laughs> an undersized American jersey. <laughs> tell tell everyone from every other country how great of an investment. Yeah, but do you have like investor he is? You know, like in some <coughs> in some sports, you get like the, you know sort of like the legacy qualifier where you don't have to win the qualifier, but you're so good and you had such a reputation that you get in anyway. Yeah, that's Helmuth. Is that what is that what happens to Helmuth? Yeah, for sure. And then do we play like qualifiers in each country and the winner of that event goes or is it based on like GPI points or all-time money list or like that year's caches? Like pl people in the chat, let me know how do we determine who we're sending to the Olympics? <coughs> this is very important stuff. Who's going from your country? Ronald Kaiser, <laughs> PLO. <laughs> Number one, <laughs> number one. I'll be I'll be the commissioner, <laughs> and me and Frank <laughs> Obdeward are gonna make a short list. Does Marcel Luce get in there? No. <laughs> if it was the 2004 Olympics, yes. <laughs> the game has passed them by. I mean, America. We should definitely send Helmuth, <laughs> Alan Kessler. Oh my God, Alan Phil Kessler. Ivey. Just because I want to see Phil Ivey, like you know, have to like travel with Helmuth and Kessler, like. And then, and, and then, then, like, Jason Mercier. And then Ivy carries the flag into the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Can you imagine Alan Kessler in the Olympic Village cr critiquing the food at the yeah, buffet? Yeah, critiquing the food. <laughs> Way too many vegetables in here, ladies and gentlemen. What's all this sauce on stuff? What's going on? Why can't I get KFC? Can I just get plain <laughs> pasta with no sauce? Can I get an overcooked <laughs> steak, please? <laughs> Lee, meanwhile... With uh. the flush on the river. Kaiser <laughs> taking the betting lead here. Once again, very little in the middle. They used to do like the World Cup of Poker. Remember that? The World Bring yes. that back. That right? was the one hand where the German guy had the nuts, <laughs> and then he walked to his <laughs> rail to ask what he should do. It was the, the biggest slow roll of all time. <laughs> Lee, meanwhile. Rakes where was that one? Uh, Bahamas. The, what was the one? We were in Europe, I think. One At WSB Europe, they did some like... Oh yeah, it was like a like sort Tag of like a, like a Ryder Cup type yeah, setup. I just remember Phil Hamuth was uh, like on one team. So I think funny. it might have been USA versus the world. Yeah, like yeah that's yeah. how they broke it up. <coughs> Fair says qualifier from a, from a tournament or winner of a series of events of tournaments. No other way. Need current ranking system based on running strength at the present. We so, don't the, so the PGT leaderboard? Exactly. That's <laughs> how it goes. We don't send forty year old winners oh, in other well. sports. Uh, did you have the tea yeah. still from? Oh, Ronald needs tea. I think the Germans would be favorites. <laughs> yeah, you think so, right?
Troy Baker says, how many carries the flag <laughs> with a sponsor <laughs> on the middle of the Stars and so Stripes? That would 100% happen. 100%. Helmut would walk into the Olympics the first time ever and call himself the greatest Olympian of all time. <laughs> Michael Phelps, Phil Helmuth. So, people in the chat, we have an international crowd watching. Your country, you get to send five players to the Olympics for poker. In no limit hold'em, who are you sending? So from your country, five players. Check. Right now, 2023, who's going? We're back on the river, meanwhile, after He's lots there. of checking. Check. Good check. Every street. Maybe the river. Oh, one more. Oh, we got a UK viewer in the mix. Uh, Reese is sending Chidwick, Charlie Carroll, Will Kasuf, Vicky Corn Mitchell, and Luke Swartz. I mean, it's an entertaining crowd. Got the Jakeys on. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Shout out to Gloria Balding. Ace, 10, Jack, two diamonds. <coughs> Kaiser with two pair. Oh, we got Canadians here. Oh, Canada has a strong team. Felix is sending Negranu, Duhamel, Dvorez, Mike Lea, and Sam Greenwood. All right. Donnie Peters for Team America. Ivy, Osmus, Kuhn, Deep, and Helmuth. I'm really only sending Helmuth for the spectacle of it all. Of course, but if someone's got to carry the flag. <laughs> There's the eagle. Tell me if might carry that eagle into the <coughs> stadium. Matthew Scott says, just imagine Helmut finishing fourth at the Olympics. <laughs> he, would he would tear the place down. It'd be all over. Oh, we got some more submissions for the UK. Now Farrell, David Van Plew, Ludo Gaelic, Dave Doherty, and Robbie Bull. I don't know who those last two are. <coughs> Jack's still in the lead here for Kaiser. That's 525 with 25% equity. Kaiser makes the call with his deuce. Three deuces, the winner here. And he makes a full house on the river. 
Let's see if he goes for the check race here. He does. See if Lee is going to try to steal this one. A lot of blockers in his hand. Yeah, an eight deuce, not really a hand 1. you can. 6. There it is. 1.6. Wow. We got a massive swing coming up here at the final table. Guys are just a deep swallow contemplating his next move. But I think I already know the two words that are going to come out of his mouth. He moves all in. Lee, not happy with this one, has to lay it down. And all of a sudden, the roles are reversed. Kaiser back on top. My prediction might still come true. As Ronald Kaiser is up to just shy of 6 million. Lee sitting on 3.6. That was massive. Ronald Kaiser back on top, as shown here on our chip count graphic presented by Global Poker. Alan Lee not in trouble just yet though. Still 45 big blinds, still anyone's game. Lion and then a lamb in the chat says, Kaiser was waiting for this moment. Indeed he was. <laughs> Indeed he was. Vincenzo submitting Team Italy. San Martino, Mustafa Kani, Dario Minieri, Ben Dinelli, and Max Pescatori. Some of those guys may or may not be over the hill. Some of those are also really, really good. Kaiser back to doing what he does best, raising it up. Back to the river with half a million in the middle. Lee this time Check. with the best hand. Check. Easy Money is submitting Team Puerto Rico. Love to see it. Don't know those players, but I'm sure they're gonna they're gonna bring it. All right, Chad. I'm counting on you guys to suggest something new and insane to talk about. <laughs> I feel like we've we've wrung dry the Olympics talk. We need something new. Something better. I don't think I'm ever going to become a heads-up PLO player, Donnie. I just don't have it in me. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> you would think, you know, four cards making things extra spicy, but you just got to be so careful playing with four cards against a player with four cards. 
Ross says, let's talk about using violence against bullies. Yeah, Donnie, speaking of that, how's your daughter doing? Good question. I mean, I is think she, she's Is she still, still in custody? I think she's still at school. She might be in jail. <laughs> not really. I'm not, I'm not dealing with it. I'm not going to get her. It's my wife's problem right now. I, I stand by what I said earlier. That kid should not have tried to take her toys. I mean, if my daughter just, like, bit him, like... I mean, if she bit like, in and, like, like struck like blood, okay, like, like I'll, ta I'll, I'll have a talk with her, but, like... I'm just picturing Evander Holyfield. I mean... <laughs> he stole the toy. I mean... What, what was it? Uh, was it like? Not only did he, is he stealing toys, he's picking on a girl. Like, come yeah, on. Yeah, that's also true. Dan, Dan says, <laughs> talk about sandwiches. I think we've <laughs> talked, <laughs> talked enough about sandwiches. Usually we talk about drinking, sandwiches, pizza. Emil is making the big prediction. He says, "Next hand is the final hand." Well, let's see if let's see if you're right. It is possible. Kaiser with the chip lead. <laughs> Matthew Scott is saying Tony G. Madness winning gold at the Olympics. Tony G. against the Russian player. Heads up, maybe. Eighty-one percent for Lee here. Both players with the flush draw. Lee has Kaiser dominated. Kaiser, however, with top and bottom. Lee with top two. Lots going on in this hand. Luis says trouble incoming. It's definitely possible. As Lee improves to an even better two pair. Not <laughs> that he not that he needed it. Three pair. Exactly. Guys are looking for a jack or a three. Levels go up every 40 minutes. This really is a clash of two big hands, and we know Kaiser is not one to slow down, especially in position. I want to make a deal with the chat <coughs> that whenever someone new asks, is this live? Everyone starts saying, is this live? <laughs> so when I, you know what's funny? I was thinking that exact same thing <laughs> earlier, and we like got t talking about a hand or whatever, so I didn't bring it up, but great minds think alike. I like it. So wh whenever you guys in the chat see someone asking, is this live? Pot. You just fire away. Wow. Pot, raise, call. Bang, bang, bang. All the money goes in the middle. Kaiser in a lot of trouble. He does not have a lot of outs. And Lee here on the brink of securing a double up. Or did Kaiser not call yet? No, I don't, he didn't call yet. He didn't call yet. I thought I heard him say call, but must have been wrong on that one. I think he wanted it in amount. An amount, all right. <coughs> you better watch what you say around here. If you guys are wondering if this is live, yes, this is live, <laughs> due to the mistake. <laughs> if this wasn't live, we would have edited all that out, but. We're doing it live, baby. <coughs> Kaiser trying to make up his mind here. Check raises to 2.92 million. Wow. He goes all in. Moves all in, and Lee makes the call. Kaiser only 13%, but he has a chance to end it right here on the spot. Wow, huge clash here. Do I need a three or a jack? A three or a jack, indeed. Five outs only once for Kaiser. What a terrible, terrible situation for him. He fought so hard to get his chip lead back, but now Lee, <coughs> a card away from having a massive chip lead. This I game surely didn't. Didn't someone say this was going to be the last hand? No, the next hand they said. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> five I mean, it could still happen. <laughs> River card, eight of diamonds. <coughs> Lee completes his full house, receives a full double up, and he is once again back in the chip lead. Swinging back and forth, baby. This is three. Who said PLO was boring? No, I, I had extra on the side. Who said it out I'm there? awake. I'm <laughs> awake. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'm back. The total. It's okay. Cloud server asking, okay. what's the best million, like, yeah. and worst way to celebrate slash blow some of your winnings on a night after a big poker MTT win? That's a great question. First of all, it depends where you are. Because yeah. the, the biggest tournament I ever won 
I was sitting in my bedroom in my underwear, and it was like nine in the morning, and I just raised my hands in the air, and there was no one around <laughs> to celebrate with, so and I just went to sleep. Yeah, I, oh. I, thought we were I just went to now. bed. It was very like, boring. Well, that's good for the bank. Where where you started. Get to True. Keep oh, yeah. that money. Worst place is well, probably like Vegas. Just go straight to the club. You got some bottles. Imagine what those main event winners spent the night they win the tournament. Probably the day after, actually. Yeah, I mean, I think. The night of yeah, the is a thing of the past <laughs> because you're so drained. Yeah. It's just so long and stressful and strenuous, you know, both mentally and wow. physically. But they probably take a night or two off, and then it's party time. So you have about <coughs> two, four? Yeah. Let it sink in. Let the money hit your bank account, and then go to town. Lee back up to 75% of the chips oh. in play. Oh, yeah. If that guy's prediction in the chat was about to come true, then it has to happen on this hand. Emil. Emil, yeah. I mean, the people in the chat are all suggesting <laughs> drug-related escapades after winning a big tournament. Lee gets a check mark here. As long as he doesn't fold, this goes to showdown, he will win. And he's going to bet it. Easy Money says, I won a 900 people tournament free roll. Took 11 hours. I won $2. I mean, <laughs> hey, man, I was right there with you back when I first started playing poker. Got to start somewhere, man. A win is a win. Yeah, now you have $2. <laughs> Now you can play a tournament for some actual money, win a little more, and you're on your way. I remember playing two cent, four cent limit hold'em back in the day. Wow. I just remember playing two dollar, four dollar at South Point. Oh yeah. <laughs> Damn. Those ugly ass brown chips. Yep. <laughs> Which they still have. <laughs> they do. Bunny is Ronald Kaiser's biggest fan. Been in the chat the whole day. Yep. Cheering, for, cheering for the Dutchman. It's getting late there in the Netherlands. It is uh, 4.38 p.m. in Las Vegas. <coughs> yeah, not that late at all. No. It feels like we've been here for about 12 hours, but we really haven't been. I think the fact that every player has double the cards, it makes me feel like we've been working double the time. <laughs> yeah, my brain has to work much harder. Trying to figure out everything that's going on. We appreciate everyone that has stuck with us. That's for sure. Lion and Lamb asking, who's the best PLO <laughs> player in the world? You might be looking at him. Yeah, I mean, these are two of them for sure. Alan Lee and Ronald Kaiser, both right up there. Dylan, Dylan Wiseman. Dylan Wiseman, who <laughs> went out third, <laughs> is <laughs> also right up there. I think Ben Lamb would probably be in that in that conversation. Um, Jared Blesnick is probably up there. There's a ton the of the really Finns. The Finns. The Finns. If if you're Finnish, I mean you're just you're born to be a PLO player. Yep. <coughs> For those that are just tuning in, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. We have daily live streams all week on our YouTube channel. We got hold them tomorrow. We get then we got PLO again on Thursday. And two, and then two 25k no limits, where all the big guns will show up for. Oh so yeah. we, we're gonna get have, have Kuhn in the mix, David Peters, all those tough cookies, and maybe some more Helmuth and Negrano action. They have been playing these events. Negrano, of course, busted earlier today from this event. Helmuth so far has one min cash. It's still in the mix. Raise 240. Kaiser here with the raise up to 240. Let's have a look at pgt.com for the latest on event number five. 
which is a 10K no limit event. With 75 or 76 entries so far in that event. Cherish Andrews, our current chip leader. Chris Mormon in there as well. Cherish Andrews has been having a massive last six months to a year. She closed out 2022, super successful. Won some stuff over at the win. Has had success again to start this year. Now she's here playing in the studio. I want to say for the first time, she's been uh, battling in these USPO events. Great to see. Here's a look over at event number five. The room definitely filling up nicely for this event. Seems Sam Soverell, Nacho Barbero, and Chris Mormon on the table. Chris Brewer there as well. Cherish <laughs> Andrews at the table with Negreanu. There he is. He's got some chips. Yeah, he's got chips right away. Just give me a fucking pair. Let's go. That is great to see. Fresh off his fourth place finish. In the PLO event, took home 77K in that one. Love those Daft Punk ask vibes right here as we look at the 2023 PGT leaderboards. Lotaro Guerra still on top with just shy of a million dollars in earnings. Kerry Katz, Nacho Barbero, Alex Fox, and the Ram Zobian completing the top five. We're going to see some shakeups and some new names move into the top five over the course of the next few days. Negrano might be. Leaping up the standings with one more result. A long season here on the PGT. You guys can check out everything PGT related over at PGT.com. Schedule, leaderboard, information on the tour, winner stories, all of that good stuff. PGT.com. Tons of events plan for the rest of the year. Obviously everything that's going to remain here at USPO. Select WSOP events are PGT eligible. We got Poker Master Super High Roller Bowl coming up later this year. Only the third year of the tour, but uh, pretty incredible overall. Just got a word that Negrano is now sixth on the PGT standings. There you go. Leads the way for caches. He's got 12 caches. All right. Let's have one more look at the current standings as we are heads up here. 8 million to 1.5 million. Alan Lee, the big favorite in this heads up battle. It's not over yet, though. We've seen it many times before. Ron Kaiser can still make a comeback. We're back in about one minute. Don't go anywhere. Take your game to the next level with GTO Wizard, the number one app for poker players. Start crashing at gtowizard.com. Just kidding. We're back already. <laughs> 50K, 100K with a 100K big blind. Andy, Jeff Plan, and Bern Hanks still on the call on pokergo.com. My name is Remco Rinkema. Donnie Peters alongside me. You can follow us as well on Twitter. I am at Remco Rinkema. He is at Donnie underscore Peters. We'll be here for you guys all week long. Let's with go. With more poker tournament final table action. Let's go. 
Kaiser with the king queen pot. nine seven looking for some help. Alan Lee now fighting back with a pot size re raise. Mystery hand. Is he going to go for it here? Makes the call. All right, we got quite a few chips committed here. Yeah, 1.9 in the middle, oh only yeah. 625,000 behind for Kaiser. Six and a quarter. Yep. 10 6 deuce rolls off the deck. All in. All in move and from Lee, and Kaiser makes the call. We got a real big hand on our hands as Kaiser is looking for one of nine outs to double up here. Flip? Yeah. Ish? Yeah, you're slight favorite. Slight favorite indeed, 60-40. We're flipping for the big money, 200K yeah, for the winner. $54,000 difference in pay jump. Turn card, deuce of clubs, doesn't change a thing. Kaiser still looking for one of the remaining nine outs or he will be eliminated and this tournament will be over. Can he find it? Is it there for him? Or will Alan Lee claim his first title inside the studio? The river card, please. It is the three of hearts and Alan Lee wins his first tournament inside the PokerGo studio as Ronald Kaiser is eliminated in second place. $200,000 for Alan Lee and 200 PGT points They're as well. A runner-up here collecting yeah, yeah. $146,300 for his runner-up finish. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion. Action will continue tomorrow. But let's look back at the standings here today, presented by Global Poker. We lost Damian Radanov in fifth, Negrano in fourth, then Dylan Wiseman, and then Ronald Kaiser versus Alan Lee. Kaiser had the chip lead, but ultimately could not hang on as Alan Lee came out on top winning this event. We'll be back tomorrow with more from the 2023 U.S. Poker Open. 10K No Limit Hold'em is the event tomorrow. We got Negranu still in the mix as of right now. Follow along with the live updates on pht.com as Nacho Barbero is still our leader in the clubhouse for that 50K cash bonus and that massive 60 pound gold eagle trophy once more my name is Ram Karinkama Donnie Peters and I will be back tomorrow thanks so much for watching we'll catch you on the next one